Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. It is Friday, September 1st, 2023, and we are live at the Hive. All right. We're ready to have a lot of fun tonight. I have more things that can fit on two knife cams to share with all you all, you all, you all, you all. <laughs> My CD was skipping, sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was getting a little excited. Um, Tonight, we're going to talk about knives you have to see to believe at some point or another. First, I want to give a shout out to all of our veterans, past, present, and future. Thank you for your service. Thank you to law enforcement out there. Thank you to first responders. Thank you to all of our truckers out there. And a big shout out to all of our Bees Blades members. Yes! You guys get free bells just then. <laughs> but shout out to all the Bees Blades members and the patrons and all the, the sub, 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 subscribers. I am stuttering tonight. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the, the theme of the night. Just a stuttering. Just a studio. Anyway, we're having a lot of fun tonight. I'm telling you what, there, there's just so much coolness. I've got everyday carry gear. I have knives. I have I have, uh, what do you call those things? Fixed blade. I have EDC pouches. I have EDC pins. I have giveaways. We're going to, we're going to do it all and we're going to fit it in within like three hours and 45 minutes. I'm going to do my very best. Hey, Terry T-Rex has been a member for 20 months. He said, what's up y'all? Terry, 20 months, dude, coming up on two years, almost two years. Can you believe it? <laughs> yes, we're going to, oh, yes. Um, okay, time needs to slow down right now so we can enjoy this. Because, like, it, the live stream's over and I'm like, wait a minute. Th it, that was fast. <laughs> it goes by so quick trying to fit everything in. So I'm not going to try to rush everything in. And we're going to do an open pocket check knife at any given time. And we'll start this. You guys that have been here and we've done it a couple times, just at any given time, even you could say it again, like in an hour, like I'm flipping or flipping, flicking this, or I'm looking at this, or I'm thinking about getting this knife, or I have this knife on the way, or did you know this knife's getting ready to come out or that knife's getting ready to drop? Fluffy Delgado has been a member for 13 months. He said, happy Friday, Hive. Shout out. To all the bees bladers that are out there driving down the road right now, whether you're listening while we're live or you're listening the next day, next week, next month, or next year, just because you want to hear a little knife content, a little bit of knife family, knife community, and that's what this is. If this is your first time here, say hello to everyone. You don't have to be a fancy knife collector with all this knife knowledge. This is where you get it. We get it all from each other hanging out. If your only knife is a gas station knife, hey, you have a knife. That is pretty cool. Tell us about it. We'll tell you about what we have. Fluffy Delgado, thank you for supporting the Hive and being a member for 13 months. And Stacy Bolster Blades has been a member for 22. That's a double deuce. Double deucing. She said, happy Friday Hive stream, y'all. Yep, almost two years. Stacy, rocking the 22 months. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Lord. Whew, okay, I'm taking a breath now. My mom, I talked to my mom earlier this week and she said, yeah, uh, Sarah showed me and you need to blink. <laughs> she, so uh, apparently I don't blink enough. I was like, well, I even made an emoji. All I have to do is remind me and I'll blink. Uh, maybe I should just blink all the time. And it'll just look like the chat is uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Like a strobe, like. Terry T-Rex, thank you for supporting the Hive. And who's the other? Fluffy Delgado with the 13 months. And Stacy, I'm going I'm to try my best to keep and putting your names up in lights when you do the Super Chats. Your name goes up in lights for all the world to see forever. <laughs> anyway, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I have 29 knives on the, 30, 31 knives on the table. I have three pins on the table, two new EDC pouches on the table, and a bell. <laughs> that will not all fit on the knife cam. But if you're new to the hive, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is laid back. We are... 
we don't talk about politics or religion, and we also uh, this is a, this is a, a place of of serenity where where there's peace. We don't do discord in here. Oh oh, Huckleberry with the ten doll hair super chat super chat Huckleberry. Oh by the way, and that's something else we do is when you donate a ten doll hair super sticker, you get the Amera hair. Yes. A little bit of Mara hair action. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And wait a minute. Oh, stuff is flying by. Paul Monko. He said a knife for every day of the month. You got that right, Paul. Paul Monko's in here, y'all. Thank you very much for the two doll hairs. And thank you, Huckleberry, for the ten doll hairs and getting the Amera hair out, making sure it doesn't get dusty. And I haven't even got to shout out people that are in here tonight. Because I'm full of words. I got a lot of words. Or should I talk properly and say, I have a lot of words. What's up, Robert Feely? All you bees, bladers. And uh, don't forget, if you're a channel member, you have access to all the emojis. Which, you know, I'm thinking about adding some more. Robert Feely, Stacy, Stacy Bolster, Bolstered Blades. <laughs> Kevin Weiniger, Todd Carr. Top dog, top dog's in the house. What the top dog? Top dog, top dog. I'll wait till Mrs. B's gets here to finish it. Um, hold on, hold on. I just I see colors. You ever watch that tuna show when the when fish comes up close enough? They'll say, I see color, or I got color. I got color. I have to wait and find it. Hold on, there it is. JMC with the ten doll hairs. He said, B's, you're getting too thin. LOL. Great job. Thank you, Jay. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it, man. That's mini skipped Little Debbie snack cakes. <laughs> mini skipped bowls of cereal at night. Thank you very much. I appreciate it for the ten doll hairs. Betty Davis said, "I want the mini penguin." That one's on the table. Oh my! There's so many on the table. It's D and K knives loaned me several paint, not penguins. Several uh, what do you call them? Uh, QSP knives. There's DNK knives. Go check them out. Matter of fact, he uh, made a 10% discount code, code B's Blades at DNK knives. You can, get, I had no idea. You can get everything there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I see more color. Casey, we said, welcome, <laughs> welcome to Scout B's. What's up, Casey? KC7ABC. We have a new Scout member. Everybody, all you channel members, everyone, welcome the new Scout member, Ch Casey. This is Casey Kasem. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm, oh yeah, this is going to be one of those nights. I'm, I'm, I'm sprung. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Top Dog with the $10. He said, oh wait, am I in the wrong live? Is this Metal Complex? Oh, Top Dog. What, what do you call that? Throwing shade. No, that is not shade. Top Dog, thank you for the $10 hairs. And thank you for the reminder. Anybody that cares to, hop over on Metal Complex's live stream and tell him Bees Blades and Bees Blades family said hello. Throw him, throw him, throw up some bee emojis. Everybody has a bee emoji. Thank you, Top Dog, for the 10 dolly hairs. D Edelman said, howdy, and ding, ding, ding. What's up, D Edelman and Dwayne K, Rick Atkins, James Forson. What's up, Todd Carr? Kevin Weiniger, uh, let's see, James Alton. Chris Jones said, evening bees and all in the chat. Hello from Catala, Georgia. Just flip it and break it into a new CS Raha 2. Hit that like button, everybody, please, and thank you. Yes, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button just to show that you care. And because I always try to see if we could ever break a record. I want to hit 400 thumbs up. Top dog, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the getting the Amera hair, keeping the dust off the Amera hair. Paul Monko said, what's on the table today? Uh, we're going to show you here in just a minute, dude, because it is crazy. Christopher said Metal Complex ran early tonight. He had to go watch a game. Oh, so he's watching football. Well, everyone text him on Instagram and tell him B said hi. No, really don't. Jeremy Bowers has been a member for nine months. He said everyone, he said evening, every people, and thumbs up. Look at that. That's a lot of thumbs up. Thank you, Jeremy. I read that so fast. How, how long? Nine months. Holy cow, you could have had a baby. What's up, Joshua Templeton? He said, I'm returning for a second time. Is there a special giveaway tonight? There is a special giveaway every Friday night. Don't you worry, man. Clarence Davis gifted one Bees Blades membership. And guess who got it? 
Todd Carr. Thank you very much, Clarence, and congratulations, Todd, on your membership. Todd is a moderator. Thank you. Thank you, all the moderators, for keeping the chats clean. This is a family-friendly show. We have a lot of families in here that watch with their kids and have this up on the live screen, on the live screen, on the TV screen, <laughs> while they're doing whatever. What's up, P90 Camper? He said, Nyot me? Nyot me? Not me? Baby girl said, two months member. Baby girl. I don't see a B next to your name. Aries EDC said, hey, Stacy, what's up, Paper Tiger? Man, Paper Tiger's been around. One of those first names that I learned that I saw in all the live streams. Because back in the day, I would be on every single live stream because I had time. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Uh, Top Dog just gifted five Bees Blades memberships. JMC gifted a Bees Blades membership. What's up, Nicole? Nicole said, this is my first live bees. Everybody, welcome Nicole Peveril. And let's see who got the Bees Blades membership. Baby girl. Well, boom, there you go. Joe, Joe Walkett was gifted a membership. Chris Jones, Greg Maroney, Ben were all gifted memberships. Joshua Templeton, bam, there you go. You're a member. You're a member. Brian F., thank you for moderating. He just put up the uh, 15%. I have that 15% code for the uh, Remet Rhino, the Rhinosaurus, the Rhinoceros. I've look at that. It it comes complete with oh, there was there was a a Bentley or a Berkeley hair. There was a dog hair on it. It's gone now. But there's the Rhinoceros. I have a 15% off discount code. And thank you for putting that up there, Brian F. Wayne Samarjic said, bees, please, please what, man? Christopher Wheeling said, the honey flowing. I like it when the honey's flowing. Average gear reviews in the hive. T-Fetch. What's up, T-Fetch? It's Salamando and none other than Ken Faulkner. Ken Faulkner's in the hive. D Edelman. What's up, D? He said, welcome, new members. Oh, yeah, I posted a video tonight at, uh, I don't know, just an hour and a half ago. Hopefully, you've all have watched it because we're in that magic two-hour mark. So if you want to do bees of solid, go watch the video or have it playing on a, uh, a, you know, get another device or open another window and play the video that I posted tonight. One of the knives of, that's in that video is this, and it's a lot of 14C28N. I had the Viper Aid patches on. I did several shorts this week. I had the Viper Aid patches. I have a link to Viper Aid. It, all of, all of the things that, that are, you're going to see on the knife cam. Matter of fact, I'll just show you the, the knife cam right now. Um, um, what, what was they doing? <laughs> I was showing the knife cam. Here we go. This is the knife cam, ladies and gentlemen. And I have more knives than I can fit in it. Here's the Rhino. Here are the new big old chonker Sativians. And then here's the stickers from DNK Knives. Very cool stickers. Thank you, DNK Knives, for letting me check out these QSP, oh, the QSP Penguin, the QSP Mini Penguin. We have the new Vostied Raccoon White Mountain Knives exclusive. Level one up said, I'm all right, Todd, kind of bummed I missed out on an awesome deal this morning, but guess it just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, oh, speaking of which, I was going to pull the plug and get the new Devo Stout version two. I didn't realize there was only a certain amount or a certain number. So uh, this was like a week or two ago. So I sat down on the couch and I said, I think I'm going to do it. I pulled up the site and they were sold out. I was like, well, it wasn't meant to be. But that version two is, oh my goodness. What's up, Paul Bessemer? Joseph said, I did purchase all three of those EFSs, FCs on your earlier video, but I don't think your scene is trying to figure out how to join. But I don't think your scene is trying to figure out how to join. Um, if you want to join, there, I have a pinned comment up there with a link. At the top of the comments is a pinned comment. That is one way to do it. Nicole Peveril, welcome to Scout Bees, Nicole. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All you channel members. Welcome, Nicole. We have a new member, Todd Carr. It said, level one up, always be ready for the chase is the life of a knifeaholic. Yeah. Boy, isn't that the truth? That's the truth. <laughs> Stephen Johnson. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. It's level on up. Kind of like move it on up. Oh, my gosh. I, I probably did say level one up. Um, 
So here, here's an announcement that no one cares to know, but this is the kind of thing we do on, on this live stream. Besides talk about knives, um, do you all notice anything particularly different about my my hand? Does anything look just a little different than it normally does? Maybe just a little bit. You know, maybe uh, maybe just a little. Custom EDC Knives is in here with the two doll hairs. But I had a little something done this week, and no, it's not my fingernails. People would be like, did you get your nails done? No, I clipped my nails with my Victorinox 580s. Yes, my ring. Level, level on up said it's okay, bees. Some reason everyone does. I know, man, but last week I thought I had it down pat. Chris S. said the old ball and chain fits once again. Yes, I had to have my my ring resized. It was a size and a half too big because my fingers have shrunk. And when they resized it, they recoded it. So it looks like a brand new, super duper shiny. t Fetch said, moving in up. Jeez, wheeze, old bees. Yep, resized the wedding wing. It, I resized the wedding wing. <laughs> um, I, I said, what size is it anyway? It was nine and three quarters, and now it's eight and a half. So I was almost a 10. It was tight at one point. I was probably a 10, and I'm down to eight and a half. So I've lost some of my finger chub. Bluetooth blade said titanium. No, this is white gold. Mrs. B's bought it for me for, for our wedding, obviously. Chris S said, I just bought the same exact wedding band for just those occasions and multiples of three. Joshua Templeton says, I have a size 19 ring finger. Now that is a ring finger right there. Aaron B said, B's is speaking Chinese. Yeah. Um, this it's eight and a half. It's a little snug, but if you'll look, not that you care, I don't have knuckles that stick out. My, my fingers are straight. See there. So my ring has to be snug enough to grab onto a little bit of meat because there is my, my, there's, you know, a lot of people's knuckles stick out like this. So the ring goes over the knuckle. My rings are pretty, my fingers are pretty much straight. Josh Branson said, special thanks to all the 158 of you for spending your Friday night here in the hive together with us at B's Blades. Uh, Pedro says, so did you, you didn't get your nails did? <laughs> no, I, I take care of my nails. I do my nails on my own. I, I do them with my Victorinox uh, 580. SBKNJ55. Welcome to Scout Bees. SBK. Welcome, welcome. We have new members tonight. Man, we are we're rocking and rolling. Hey, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. We got to keep that rolling. Matter of fact, I'm going to jump over here and hit the thumbs up button myself. Pow! Right in the kisser. Did it. And what's up, custom EDC knives? Michael Keppel said, that is my problem. My knuckles swell out about the size, about a size and a half. Once on, it's a free spinner. I got gotcha. you. Josh Branson said, remember to hit the like button, everybody. David Tooley said, woo, just made it in time for at least some of the hive stream. David Tooley, you made it in plenty of time, man. We have all kinds of time because time is going to slow down because we have so much stuff to talk about. Welcome to Scout Bees, y'all. Here is the new raccoon with, uh, it's it's pretty good, pretty good uh, frag micarta. I like it. And you can get this. This is an excellent deal for $53, $53, $53 hairs. I think it is a fantastic knife for 53 bucks. Plus this is my favorite version with the crossbar lock. I'm digging it, digging it. Can you dig it? Yeah, I can dig it. Look at that. A little bit of crossbar lock action, baby. Pedro said my father-in-law's ring is big enough to fit a quarter in it. Wow. Uh, Jeremy said, my wife bought me a Kaiser baby on knife day. A Kaiser baby on knife day. <laughs> a Kaiser comma baby or a Kaiser baby comma. Uncle Boobs. <laughs> oh my gosh. He said, nice. I made it early. Uncle Boobs in the house. What's up, Uncle Boobs? Cher Shereek Cunningham said, bees, I made my nine months official with the super sticker. You missed it, but you got me. But you got me last week. Dude, are you serious? I don't see. Where's the, where, where, what, where's the super sticker? Where's it at? Um, I don't see it. Shriek Cunningham. I'm looking for your super, super sticker. Shriek Cunningham. I'm going back, man. I'm trying to get get everybody that has a super chat up on the screen. 
I just don't see it. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know, like me. What's up, Matthew Russell? Byron Kennedy's in the hive. What's up, Byron? Or wait a minute, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he said, howdy, bees and everyone. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't see it. Uh, Jarvis said, hey, bees, do you know what the Vostid grind is going for these days? Dude, I don't know if where you can get it. They had them, they dropped, and I haven't seen them been haven't seen them up for sale since you'd think they'd put some more p90 camper said i'm i'm gonna go back and do it all over you what's up yo what's up the llc 24 7 is in the hive first time live what's up the llc 24 7 that's a, that's working that's llc and all the time that's a lot of limited liability corporation right there nicole said already hit it Kevin Weiniger has been a member for 13 months. Kevin. And did y'all see my short? I did. I, I tried a short with no words. It was the weirdest thing to, to make a video and not speak. <laughs> Do you know how much that was killing me to try to not speak? My wife said, well, you should have just spoken. You could have done the, the audio overlay, the music. I said, yeah, but I talk with my hands. I would have been going like this and going like that while music is like, it wouldn't have worked but i had this bad boy up there and the brown one i had both versions on a short this week um it has a barong style blade kaiser is sloughing hard on the lmax hyper omed kaiser said jmc said i saw it didn't think it was you peter said uncle boob is great yes but have you heard of un <laughs> under <laughs> What's up, Peter Miller? Peter Miller's in the hive. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 wait a minute. James Alton gifted a Bees Blades membership. James and BK was the one that got that membership. Congratulations, BK. And thank you, James Alton. You guys are freaking amazing. Amazing. Gregory Witt said, hello, Bees and Hive. Hope everyone's doing okay. God Drop Shot said, just bought a Kaiser Original XL Titanium. Thoughts? Well, in this Viperade pouch that I have right here, I have a, well, would you look at it? Just look at it. It's an XL Titanium Kaiser Original. I love it. Oh, I like it a lot. Joseph Skate said, got it figured out. I joined, I think. Jace, Jake, Joseph, you are a member. Joseph Skates, welcome to the hive. John Blackman's been a member for six months. He said, I enjoy my Spyderco Shaman. Pow! Right in the kisser. What's up, John Blackman? Six months. That's a half a year, you know. That's three quarters of two years. Or wait a minute. <laughs> That's a quarter of two years? Oh, my gosh. The Not that type of LLC. <laughs> well, you know. I'm definitely getting a Miltal. Omed Kaiser said, oh, yeah. I'm posting my video on the Kaisers on Sunday to remind you all. And then you can use my link before you go buy all the new Kaisers. That way you can support the hive. Anthony Reader said, just got a smock and it's my favorite Spyderco. I plan to chop it. Jeremy Nedro said, Kaiser has some great knives. It's the less than lethal channel 24-7. Less lethal channel 24-7. Now the question is, can I remember that? Salamando said, Q gif of math equations flying around the screen as Bees tries to do the math. Yeah, you got that. The Miltaw, oh my gosh, it's my new favorite Kaiser. I mean, oh, but hey, while I have this out, if if you, I, I carry a pack, I carry two pouches and I carry the pouches in my backpack because I always take a backpack with me with all kinds of stuff in it. But these little pouches are pretty cool. You can get uh, like a $20 version or a 37. This is made out of X-Pack. And X-Pack material is what they make sails for sailboats and stuff out of. But this is a pretty cool, uh, we call it pouch. I like it. And I and these are it's it's pretty much waterproof. It's as waterproof as a YKK zipper could be. And it has a field out here where you can put a couple of your little doodads on there. And you put some money in there, and then you can also put uh, what's this? You know, if somebody's asking about your channel, you can always. Show them a card and be like, oh, yeah, I'm Bees Blades of YouTube. You can give them a business card. 
Major Powell with the five doll hairs. He said, I have 250 total in Amazon gift cards. What knife or knives should I buy? I need some suggestions. Let's hear it, y'all. Help me spend those Amazon bucks. Oh, wow. Major Powell. Wow, Major Pal. Dude, so they, Major Pal has 250 to spend on Amazon. Holy cow. Omed said, did Kaiser send you a Mystic? How is it? Mystic versus Miltaw. Miltaw. Miltaw is my favorite out of those two. Uh, yes, I have all of those knives. I will. The, the video is already made. The video will be dropping Sunday. Jarvis said, I'm carrying the Kershaw Iridium, a Spyderco Manix 2, a Cold Steel SRK, and an Essie Azula. I broke the tip off my Boker Kalishnikov today at work. Oh, the Spyderco is breaking in nicely. Very nice. Dude, uh, that's what pry bars are for. You, you put a pry bar in, in your pocket or in your pouch or something. This is what you, and look at here. I got a Band-Aid handy. You use your pry bar for prying and your knife for cutting. Just, just saying, just saying. Blair's Blade Reviews. We said, what do you think of the Kaiser Mystic? Uh, I think the Mystic is cool. I think the Mystic is very cool. Um, Jarvis said, I think my next spider code will be a Shaman or a PM2. I tell you what, um, if you're going to spend 200, oh, Major Pal, did I get you up on the screen? My, uh. Do, 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 do. There you go. Got your name up in lights. Um, $250. The question is, do you have a Spider Co. Manix 2? <laughs> Just saying. That's a good knife. It's a matter of whether you want quantity or just a freaking sweet knife that'll take up a lot of that $250. Paul Bessmer, thank you for the blink reminder. I really appreciate it when my channel members remind me to blink because I honestly do forget to blink. I get so focused on you guys and what you're saying and what I'm going to do next and what I did a second ago. And my mind swirls all around that I literally forget to blink and my contacts get dried out like they are now. So I really appreciate it. That's why channel members have a blink emoji is simply to remind me. And it's very much appreciated. <clears throat> BFE Gunner said there's three different colors of the titanium on the M390 Valona. BFV Gunner said blue, natural. Man, I'm telling you right now, uh, M8, M8 knives and, and Migron, their, their titanium is just some of the best looking and best feeling titanium. The texture on it is just, oh, it's out of this world. It feels so flipping good. Shariq said, bees, tap the all messages tab and you'll see my super sticker. Um, I've got it on live chat. Um, I have it on live chat. So that's all messages. Shariq Cunningham. Well, Shariq, uh, I'm going off of two things. I'm also going off of StreamYard because it disappears um, there's Major Pal, and I can only, what? I can only go up so far. So, I could go backwards on StreamYard, but I did, and I, I, sorry, I can't see it. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I'm going backwards as far back as I can. I see John Blackman, and then I keep going, I keep going, then I see Kevin Weiniger, and then Joseph. Bear with me, folks. I want to see if I can find it. I see SBK. Still going. How far back do I need to be going here? Because that was a while ago. Oh, a while, Brian. A while. I see <clears throat> Nicole became a member. Yeah, this is a lot of scrolling, man. <clears throat> Sheree Cunningham. <laughs> Ha! Yes. Been a member for nine months. Said you got me last week, bees with the ding, ding, ding. But I just wanted to hear it again. There you go, Shriek. Thank you, man. You prodded me and I found it. I am so glad I found it because I didn't before. That's awesome. Stacy said, bees, if you hit the all message tab, you can see fundages. Oh, I know I can go up and watch. I can go up and see fan funding is what it's called. Fan funding. Do, do, do. But if I pull it up on fan funding, I can't put that on the screen. I can only put it on the screen through through StreamYard. StreamYard? StreamYard. I, yeah, it's called fan funding. 
<clears throat> now I'm back to live chat. What's up, Adventure Man? Nick Groff said, I just got the TPK jigged titanium hedgehog, and boy, oh boy, is that thing thin by on the hedge. Very strong spring, awesome acoustics, walk and talk is on point. $135, M390, and too slippy. Here is what he is talking about. He's talking about the hedgehog. I think that's what this is. The QSP hedgehog. Shriek said, thanks, bees. Much appreciated. Well, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure, kind sir. Spiny said, what do you think of the Sage 5? I think the Sage 5 is cool. I'll end up getting a Sage 5 one of these days. It's a pretty cool Spyderco. I mean, I eventually want to have most of the Spydercos that are out there. I like Spyderco. I like the Spyderco blades. I like the feel of them. I really like the tall, flat grinds on them. I, I'm, I dig them. I really do. Uh, Aaron, Aaron R said, Hey bees just bought a bench made shout out so far. I'm loving it. Hey, congratulations on the bench made, man. You have got one heck of a, uh, what do you call that? Um, warranty with your knife. <clears throat> Let me get a, a drink of cold Coke zero. Betty Davis said, I'm going to get me a mini penguin. And what she's talking about, you all, she's talking about this knife right here on the table. So here's your QSP Penguin. Here's your QSP Mini Penguin. This is in, this is in 14C28N. Oh, what did you guys, what did you think about these? I don't know how well you can see them. I, I am so, I have it zoomed all the way out just to try to fit more knives up on the screen tonight. Uh, let's see. I can do this. Let me come over here and uh, blow it up. Um, Jarvis said, I want the Shaman in M4, a PM2, an S110V, and a smock. And a smock. Uh, Kresk said, do it, Salamando. I much prefer the PM2s. Barry Brosen said, yo, Captain Beeski, how be you? Man, I am well. Thank you very much. I am well. Doing the physical therapy for therapy for my hip. My hip still hurts. So. <laughs> but other than that, I'm doing fantastic. Was there Orion Knives code in another live? I thought I heard it, but uh, um, I don't think I've ever got an, a, a code for Orion Knives that I can think of. Baby girl wants the black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow. This thing is a beast. Look at that. Look at that chonkarooski. That is a chonkmeister with a big fat fingerprint on it 14 c 28 in and that is a big old beast links to all of everything you see on here are on are down in the description look at that um what was i gonna do oh yeah i squirreled yeah these these little knives right here let me put this back Ooh, and i'm really digging i'm digging this one here the uh i can't even remember its name this one, I like it. This is a good everyday carry. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. This is the QSP. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. But I really like it. Aaron R said, that beard makes you resemble the WWF wrestler, wrestler Mankind. Mr. Pelly said, dig in the Vosteeds at the button. Dig in the Vosteeds at the button. Um, Joshua said, what's the fixed blade on the left? So this fixed blade is $39 fixed blade. It's the blade consists of 14 C 28 N blade steel. This is an EF knife. It's the EF 125. It has black and it's kind of between red and orange, black and red for your handle. Very good. Very good. Uh, what do you call that? Ergos. This would be a fantastic camp knife. 14C, baby. Look at that. Whoo! It has a Kydex sheath. This is the one I did a video on today. It has the, the classic multi-directional, uh, what do you call that, uh, where you can change it around, uh, adjustable. Robert Feely said, can you show the swordfish? Um, James Alton said, thoughts on the QSP penguin slip joint. I haven't checked out the penguin slip joint just yet. And here is, by the way, unless they're sold out, 
DNK Knives was the only place I could find that had the swordfish. And I have a 10% discount off to them. I'm not an affiliate, but I do have a discount code. Same way with White Mountain Knives. I'm not an affiliate, but I have a discount code. So DNK Knives may still have some of the swordfish. This thing, it has great, I mean, I mean great blade retention. When, when I come back, it stays in it stays in the handle. That that makes a button lock stand out to me when it doesn't bounce out. I prefer that they don't bounce out. I still enjoy a knife if it does it, and I have to learn, you know, to to the certain rhythm that that knife enjoys. <laughs> you gotta learn the rhythm that it enjoys. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this one, yeah, look at that. It's, it's crispy and clean. It's very comfortable, has great ergos. It's a little bit thinner because the liners are inset or the, uh, yeah, the liners are inset into the scales, which is very nice, very, very nice. James Forson said, what is the tiny silver knife? So these tiny silver knives, I did this video a few days ago and it's a video where there's a bunch of boxes on the, on the front of the video. These are all scalpel knives, except for the, for the top one. Check this out. Look at that. You, they have re, replaceable. You can buy. You can buy boxes. Let me show you up close. Because some of you probably didn't get to see the video. I showed ten different knives from Olatans. This is titanium. They take these. Most of these take number. Boy, my uh, internet's a little jerky. They take number twenty-four scalpel blades. They are frame locks. Milled titanium clips. Um, there's a link in the description that, that will take you to uh, the five smaller ones here, all on one on one link. Uh, Shriek said, "Bees, I thought the QSP Swordfish at DNK. I bought the QSP Swordfish at DNK Knives. It was twenty percent off, and I used code Bees Blades for an additional ten percent. Total cost sixty two and change dollars. Very very nice." Uh, Kenneth said, bees, I got the tech toe F3 Charlie with the da Damascus G10 scales on the way. Thanks for the info a month ago. You're very, very welcome, Kenneth. Oh, and I have a new knife in from tech toe. That is my new favorite from tech toe. And it is bad arse. I mean, I mean, here's another one of the, one of the little keychain keychain dealios keychain knives that takes uh, replaceable scalpel blades these are all so cool um i was sharpening a couple knives last night and these were laying there next to the photo box and if you're a beast blades member you can go back and watch a video and you can see what the studio looks like you'll know where i was sitting uh there you go brian f just put up the uh the link now this is an actual blade a nice crispy blade olatans they they have captive pivots they have cage ceramic ball bearings that and uh, the all of these are frame locks, and the one I have with the uh, replaceable blades it has three different blades. Uh, let's see, that one is sitting ninety ninety nine. Oh shoot, I forgot to bring these four over here too. Yeah, I do not have enough room on the knife cam to put all the knives. Here's here's the the big Olatans. I did this video I don't know a month or two ago. It ha comes with three different blades, and the blades are like nine CR eighteen MOV. They're yeah, they're nine CR. And it is butter, butter smooth, great action. It comes with this classic drop point blade. It comes with a uh, sheep's foot blade and maybe a Tanto. Can't remember, probably a Tanto blade. SBK said, B started collecting knives six months ago. I love it, but my family feels I need an intervention. No, you don't need an intervention. You, It's a nice, clean, healthy uh, thing to do. There's a lot worse you could be doing with your money. Robert Feely said, just ordered the swordfish from White Mountain Knives and used your link and code. Very good. There you go, Robert. T Fetch said, super happy guy, tons of energy, even more knives. T Fetch, Captain Kangaroo with knives. Howard K said, my beverage is a cream bourbon root beer float. Ooh, that sounds good. This is the Olatans T24 full size knife that comes with three blades. It is, it is pretty cool. And it's drop shetty too. It's, whew, it is so smooth. And I, I think it's so cool. You can have three sharpened blades, full size blades. You dull one, you can get another one out. It'll be a different blade shape, but still 
It's pretty cool. There's that one. And here are, here's these. There's four. I, oh my goodness. We will not get through everything tonight. <clears throat> Christopher Wheeling said, you only need an intervention if you're overspending. Shano, Shano, 123 said, love the channel. In the last couple of years, I just got today my Vasti Raccoon in blue frag aluminum in the mail. Also in the morning, I ordered a Kaiser Veritas. I can't wait. Thank you very much. Two years. Been hanging out with the Hive stream. What's up, Dwayne Letterman? Here you go. Here, here are four. Here are the G10 knives from Olatans. They're keychain knives. These these have a better size to them, and I'm pretty sure you can put two different sizes of uh, uh, what do you call those things? There's room to put the longer. Um, I call, I, ra- I want to call them razor blades. They're not razor blades. They're a uh, scalpel. You can put longer scalpel blades in because I'll show you how far this one goes, and you can fit a longer scalpel blade in there. See there? So there's room, and these have really good texture. Very good texture. A little bit of texture vision for you. The radio geek said, I like all the colors. James Baxter said, oh, snap. That's what I'm That's what I'm about to open, a CEO. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> all of these razor blade knives are just, I don't know. I think they're, they're not razor blades. Scalpel, scalpel knives. Um, I have one. Oh, yeah, this one right here. Look at this. So this is titanium. Nice and clean, nothing sticking out of the top. This one is also, <clears throat> excuse me, a frame lock. And this one has a long scalpel blade. Look at that. And you could buy these scalpel blades in like packs of 50. So you could just use the heck out of it, unsnap it, snap another one on, and you're ready to go, you know, just for whatever. You know, if you're just, if you find yourself doing surgeries all the time. <laughs> Oh, Murda 919 said, just got me a griptillion today. First bench made. Hey. Uh, Betty Davis said, you showed a lot of blades this week. Betty Davis, I worked overtime. I mean, I worked overtime on the channel. I did show a lot of blades. Um, the knives that were on the channel this week, um, we just added some. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. We had 35, 36. We had 36 knives total on videos this week, unless there's more and I forgot. Yeah, there are more. There were some in the pouch. So almost 40. <laughs> have a good night, Bluetooth Blades. Said I slam and shit. Gotta go, guys. Have a great Friday evening. Uh, Blair's Blade Review said just started a new YouTube channel where I review knives. You have any tips for a new channel? Um, <clears throat> just hit record. Steven Johnson said, can you demonstrate how to remove the scalpels? Um, are you trying to get me to cut myself on live TV? Let's see. Um, have I removed one? Dude. Um, let's see. How do I put it on? You go, you push it that way to put it on. So I'm presuming that you pull out you pull out this way. I'm just double checking before I show you to make sure that I do it correctly. You push this out. Um, let's see. You would have to push that part out. Let me try on the short blade. I snapped them on all of them, but I haven't actually changed one. So, I mean, it's just, if you've ever used a scalpel before, that's how it does it. So it goes, you push it up in. So you would have to presumably move it to the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that is. I wanted to be very careful before pulling or pushing on a scalpel. All right. So here's this bar, right? And when I put the with put them on, you push towards your, your other hand. You push it up and it clips. Now, what you'll do is up here on the spine, this is the, this is the scalpel, right? I'm just pushing the spine towards me and then sliding it straight out. And then I'll do this upside down to demonstrate how to put a scalpel on, which I don't know if I can do this or not. Yeah, you go like that, and then it clips past this little spot right here. I don't have it all the way on. Oh, I put it on backwards because I was... It, it's, 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 it's more simple than you can imagine. 
there's a little slit in there. You push it in the slit and it snaps on just like that. And then to take it off, you just push the opposite direction and pull and it comes right off. There you go. There we go. There's your, there's your demonstration. Bees. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Ha. Heidi Ho shades of tool time. What's up? Andy root told, told you could use them for surgery. Yeah, you could Betty, because each one of them is in a sterile sealed packet. So, you know, if something happened out in the field and you had one of these in your pack, you know, and they come with 10, 10 scalpel blades. Each one of them comes with 10. Now my favorite looking one is this one right here. And you know why you already know why that milled titanium. Joseph Skate said, would you believe me if I told you I bought 40 of them this week? Yes, I would believe you. The Punisher said, Jeremy, I've seen a lot of bad things caused by alcohol as well. Got an older brother who's an alcoholic and it scares me how much it's taken over his life. Yes, it will take over lives. <clears throat> Casey said, I own around 50 knives, but I'm saving up for my first bench made. Um, Spine Ray said, what is your favorite Kun Wu? You know, I don't know the name of them. Um, Kun Wu makes some really cool knives. I'm going to have to get a hold of them and say, hey, you want to send some knives over here for review? Or maybe give me some knives <laughs> so I can show them off. Because that is what I do. Now, this one looks like it has a spot here where you could put a one of those little glow-in-the-dark, uh, like a tritium thing. That's what that little slot looks like. Uh, Andy Root said, I like to get a titanium knife. So it will happen. Believe me, it will happen, man. I remember it wasn't too long ago. I, I didn't, I didn't own a titanium knife and I was like, someday I will have a titanium knife. And then I got, Oh, I dropped the bell. You guys got a free, a free bell. It's still intact. Don Durr said, I've been baking pizza and watching bees at the hubby's on the hubby's account, but now I have finished preparing food. I had to log. I had time to log in and hit the like button and say, hi all what's up. Don Durr. The Durrs are in the hive. Recreational said I have issues. Blair's blade review said, get the arcade and get the Timascus inlays. Omerta said, check out two sun knives for some titanium. Uh, Robert Feely said, I own a titanium something. He retracted his message. Brian Domingo, I can't, I was just trying to think of what my first titanium knife was. And I can't remember what it was. Because I have a lot of titanium in the collection now. Eon and Zedge, what's up Eon and Zedge? He said, howdy bees and the rest of the hive. Happy Friday. Joe Thanks said, first time here won't be my last. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, VCR Fine said, hello, bees and bladers. Robert Feely said, I own a titanium cormorant thanks to you. Oh, yeah. A lot of people have won a lot of titanium. Oh, and speak of the devil, NAF sales in here. <laughs> it's, a, it's about that time. At the turn of the hours when we go and check out NAF sale. Hey, NAF sale, we've missed you, man. Oh my goodness. He said, howdy to the hive. Hope everyone has an awesome Labor Day. Thank you, Naf Sale. Naf Sale with the $10 hairs gets out the Amera hair. Oh man, you guys just all of a sudden are like, pow, right in the kisser. And I, I see some bright, dark red and orange popping up. I'm waiting for it to show up on the screen so I can share it with you all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait for it. Ken Faulkner with the 20 doll hairs. You get two Amera hairs. Oh, wait a minute. You can get the Amera hair and the Murica hat. <laughs> How about that? And the Murica Olight. Thank you, Ken. He said some honey for the free bell. Nobody rides for free. Thank you, Ken. Chris Jones with the two doll hairs. Chris said, sup all, a box box of doodads is coming your way, bees. Hey, I like doodads, man. Thank you, Chris Jones. Chester Rachinsky said, hey, welcome to scout bee. Welcome to worker bees. We have a new worker bee. All you bees bladers, welcome Chester Rachinsky to the worker bees. 
You guys are freaking awesome. You're keeping the honey flowing, keeping it alive up in here. We're about to go check out NAFSale. Hey, by the way, uh, NAFSale, I just want you to know that during the live streams, so many knives have been purchased and sold. <laughs> it's crazy. Aaron B., everything he puts up during the live stream seems to sell. But uh, last week, hey, look at that. JMC just ordered the Olatans T025 for my page. Thank you for the two doll hairs, J JMC. The T025, I think that is, I believe that is this one. If I'm not mistaken, this is a very clean, very clean snappy knife and is super lightweight. Very, very nice. And by the way, if you didn't before, now you have, you own titanium because that is titanium. This would be a great first titanium knife. It's so it's so clean and snappity. It's snappity. What's up? M bomb jerky's in the hive, man. All the family showing up tonight. Jim Miller said, might as well keep it going with the ten doll hairs. Jim getting the Amera hair. Super chat. Super, super chat. Naf sale said double exposure. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna go check out Naf sale. Oh yeah. So we last week. Um, I hope you're in here right now. We went and checked out the budget knife sell fast, and we went to Naf sale. There was a QSP penguin, just like the one on the table right here. Let me pull the pull up the knife cam, just like this one, and it was twenty three dollars. I can't remember if that one had a blacked out blade or not, and. He went and bought it and already got it and absolutely loves it. It's his third knife purchase, and he got a QSP Penguin for $23. You talk about a great secondary carry. He said he's probably going to use it as a left pocket carry, and you can because it has a reversible pocket clip and a little bit of that blue jean micarta action going on. How about that? Or Christopher Wheeling, super duper. <laughs> okay, Christopher. <laughs> Uh, Spiny Ray said, "Bees, do you like the Spidey Chef, dude? I want the Spidey Chef. I will have it someday." Nafsale said, "Geez, that's a phenomenal deal. Yeah, twenty three bucks for a QSP penguin." And I tell everyone, get you a penguin. That way, when I do the size comparisons, <laughs> you'll know how how big the knife is just just based on that. Because I think it's just a perfect everyday carry size that fits most people's hands, and anybody can use it. And it's not going to poke you. It's a good, good knife. And here is NAF sale. So we have a bunch of new people in here every week. NAF sale is the secondary market where you can sell your knives or buy used, gently used knives. Pre, what, what do they call it? Pre-certified. <laughs> uh, you can buy knives on the second market. EDC and Lay said, sorry, I poofed my son unplugged the router. Oops. Oops. Um, but anyway, here, here's NAF sale. And we're waiting for this revenant to to be uh, to be won by someone, but you could go in here and shop shop the marketplace, the official knit listings, and there are knife brands that are that will be on here like Devo, Giant Mouse, knives that are made in the USA, and then budget friendly. I think first first tonight we're gonna go look take a quick look at the budget friendly and see what's in here. There's some tenacious scales, neon green cat face personal defense mini knuckles with clip, all American drop point knife. Uh, stinger drop point knife. Yeah. A spider co pin. Yeah. The knives in here, they sell quick. There's an SOG Karambit for $20 hairs. Oh, SOG, by the way, had a uh, big sale going on 20% off. I don't know if that's still going on. CRKT minimalist Kershaw outright for 21 bucks. A CRKT M16 for $22 hairs. A mile high Tanto Eagle Claw EDC. Is this? That looks like a rendition of the ZT0350. A Boker Plus Atlas Backlock Pocket Knife. Du, 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 du. JMC wants those scales. Oh, there you go. There's a there's a bird, Robin 2. Milwaukee Fastback. Civivi Fracture. They don't make the Fracture anymore. A Benchmade Flight Tag, $25 hairs. Benchmade Lanyard. A Bird Meadow Lark. What is that? There's a Civivi Mini Mastodon for $30 hairs. 
Uh, Sp Spin Ray said, uh, Bees, how do you feel about the premium misdirect? Um, that, I don't know. I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> Who said that? Spin Ray said, Bees, how do you feel about the premium? I just read that. And I don't know. Uh, Shereek Cunningham said, Bees, guess who likes flipping a penguin? Batman. <laughs> Chef Rocky's been a member for three months. He said, hey, hey, hope to see you at Blade Runner HQ in Bristol, Tennessee. Second annual swap, trade, and sell. Love to you and yours. Love you, Queen Bee and Puppy. Thank you, Chef Rocky. Chef Rocky is talking about the knife meetup that is going on. And it is now, wait a minute, wait. Wait, there it is. There it is. Now it's up on your screen. It's a knife meetup, people. And I'm going to be out of town, I believe. So there's a six, six leaf SL09 rattlesnake design for, ooh, 30 bucks. That's a pretty cool looking knife. That is that is a good knife. I reviewed that one a long time ago. That is a pretty cool knife. It's real solid. All right, so there, I'm hitting knife sale up here at the top. If you have any questions, uh, JMC, um, hold on just a second here. Give me just a second. Give me just a second, and I will give you my link to NAFSEO because I get two cents if you use my link. So let me pull that up here. I just put it on the live stream. I my uh, my my links in the descriptions move around so much that I went on there and I was like, oh my gosh, because I delete some to make room for others. I'll give you my official link and maybe uh, a moderator can can uh, hold on to it and post it from time to time. It, I It is in the description of this live stream. So most of, the, most of everything that we talk about in the live stream, I already have pre-thought out and it, they are in the description, but there's my official link to NAFSAIL, NAFSAIL. And thank you very much for those big twenty doll hairs, Ken. EDC and Les said yes. Les said yes, Major. If you want to be able to change scales, get the G10 model. Joseph just purchased the Penguin D2 in denim. Just bought the and the ooh the Concept Main Street. That's a good one. That's a really really good one. I like the new the new Concept Main Street with the uh, crossbar lock. I think they might call it something else, but it is it is really cool. I want to, okay, here's the, the marketplace. We're going to check out marketplace for a minute. And then as usual, we will come back to this um, in about an hour or so. There's a spider coat, little native. There he goes, a shaman in S90V. Uh, there's a crew wear Delica, M390 Manix 2, a rake fang for $35. There's your Pyrite for $40, a Kaiser October Mini for $60, Creon Small Pocket Knife with Button Lock Blue G10 Handle. Oh, there we go. There you go. It was a Kubi Creon. That's a solid little knife. Um, he's talking about this one right, right here. This one is the one that, that uh, let's see. Well, I don't know how well you guys can see me or not, but this is the knife right here, the Kubi Creon. It's a nice medium sized knife. has a, has a uh, very solid handle. Your hand your hand just like mm, just grabs a hold of it, and it's a button lock too. It's a I don't know how many Kubi button locks there are, but this is one of the very few Kubi button locks. This is a cool little like secondary carry with a very solid handle. Aaron B said, I usually do 20% off retail. If it gets pushed back a few pages in a week, then I'll relist it so it moves back to page one. Always offer free shipping. There you go. Aaron B would know because Aaron B sells a lot of knives on NASL. Tom Weingart. What's up, Tom? Smiling face Tom said, happy Friday night live at the Hive, everyone. Um. Okay. So... There's a concept helix for 50 bucks. Wow, look at that. Th that right there. That's a good deal. $50 hairs. Look at all that blade. All right, we will come back to this. What did I just do? I just moved the 
my broadcast out of one thingy and pull it up in another and okay Look at look at all these knives. Tropical said a huge giveaway rewind rewind rewind. Zadikin said bees you vote in the Kaiser X you design competition. Um, I don't remember if I voted or not. Cash Turner said I got busy with work and housework. I completely forgot it was Friday. Sorry I'm late. Hope everyone is having a good Friday. Yes we are. Sp Spine Ray said bees. What is your favorite out the front? Um, I have a new favorite OTF. Um, I haven't released the video on it yet, but it is my new favorite. <laughs> Figures you would ask, but uh, uh, favorite one that I currently have, I don't have that many OTFs, so I don't have a lot of opinions on OTFs. Um, this one here is pretty cool. Um, oh gosh, it's TK, TK Knives. This one right here. I like the, the real abrupt Sheep's Footy Warncliffe hybrid. But I also like the Chubby, too. I said Chubby. I, I like this little dude, too. It's pretty cool. But I have discovered that I like slimmer OTFs. These are kind of chunky. This one is not as chunky. I like it. Now, this one, the button is on the side. Like that. What's up, Knives Fast? KC is in the hive. He said, hey, bees and everyone. So, yeah, this is uh, this is a TK Knives. I can't remember what it's called. I cannot remember for the life of me. Some knives I forget the names of. What's up, M-Bomb? He said, hey, all sorry. Had, had a call on my phone call. Phone cuts on YouTube. Sorry if you said hi and I didn't say hi. Hey, so if you're new to the knife community, M bomb who is in there is in the chat right there. You can go to M bomb jerky on Instagram and get some, the best jerky on the planet. It is, it is thinner. It's not the kind you have to break your teeth off. It is so good. Shriek Cunningham said bees. I bought the Swiss tech Gerundit. I carry it daily. There you go. I'm telling you the Swiss tech makes some good budget pocket knives without a doubt. There you go. Stacy Bolster Blaze just put up a, a link for it. And I think it's about time for me to refill my drink. And uh, M-Bomb is affectionately known as Mateo, just so you all know. He said, thanks for the shout out. Anytime, man. Anytime. Yona and Edge said, Byron Kennedy, both, both doing much better. Finally, we'll be starting my Tuesday lives back up again this month. Very nice. Very, very nice. Tom. Stop it. Chris Jones said, EDC and Lace, if I get any more nicknames, uh, I'm going to forget my real name. All my local and lifelong friends call me CC, and now I got two bones and buckshot. Spine Ray, Spine, Spin Ray said, Bees, what's your favorite deployment style? Um, you know, let's see. My favorite deployment style is probably going to go against what a lot of people like. But if I had to pick, like, oh, man, I don't know. That's that's tough. It depends. It depends on this. It's, see, that's the thing about knives. It's situational. If you're talking about a knife that I prefer, like if I'm working, like if I'm working and I'm getting my knife in and out of my pocket a lot, there's a couple things. One, I don't want a deep carry clip. So I would go, um, where is, gosh, I have knives all over the place. Where's my uh, spider coat? My, my new pair of three is upstairs. But like if I'm doing, getting my knife in and out of my pocket a lot, Let's do this. Then for one, I don't want a deep carry. I want to be able to get it in and out of my pocket easy. And second, um, I like a big thumb hole like Spyderco that, that's easy. And I'll use my thumb for it. I don't get a knife out and, and reverse flick it when I'm, when I'm cutting and I'm working quickly and I just want to get my knife out. I get my knife and I open it and I do, do that. And then for closing, my favorite 
for closing, like this in this situation is I'm getting my knife out. I'm cutting a lot of cardboard. I'm cutting a lot of stuff, putting my knife back, get my knife back out, put my knife back, put, get my knife back out. My favorite for closing is some sort of lock similar to the, this is the ball lock. I think is what it's called like this or a, uh, uh, here you go. A crossbar lock. That is when I'm working because I, I can open it with the crossbar cut, go like this, my fingers are out of the path, and then it slides right back into my pocket. So I have really come to enjoy a crossbar lock for when I'm working on stuff and cutting a lot. Now, with that being said, when I'm driving, I fidget with my knives. And my favorite knife for fidgeting when I'm driving is a good flipper tab. A good, grabby, snappy flipper tab. Like I was driving today and I was flipping one of one of my favorite thinner knives that I've carried a ton, the Kaiser Gemini. It's nice and thin. It's flippy. My only complaint with it, and one of these days I might get brave enough to go ahead and put some jimps on it. There's no jipping. I don't know what it is about Ray Laconico not wanting jimping on his flipper tabs, but I want jimping on my flipper tabs. You hear me say that in every video when I show a knife that doesn't have proper jimping on its flipper tabs. But I prefer flipper tabs. Now, on the other hand, one like this. See the see those jimps? Those two little jimps are all it needs to give it excellent traction. Ozo Gardez, what's up, Ozo? He said, putting my good screw kit up on the auction block this weekend, Bees family. Got a brand new one. Oh. Now, see, I have two good get good screw um, drivers, but I want to get one of the spinny things that you put all your bits in. I, I had one, and we gave the whole set away. That was a heck of a giveaway. That was a win right there. Ben said, I drive with my cormorant. Like to rapid fire off every deployment I can. Yeah, definitely. Michael Keppel said, bees, a Drexel, a dr uh, Dremel, and small cutting wheels, all you need. I've done it in about a, a dozen knives. <laughs> and Brian Domingo said, jumping ain't easy, bees. Yep, you got that right. It ain't easy. Um, I'm really digging this. Can't remember what it's called. I've already forgot the name of it. Um, uh, does it have an L in it? The Lark? Is this the QSP Lark? I like it. I'm digging this one. Has a front flipper, back flipper. It's nice and clean and crispy and lightweight and thin. I like this one. I really do. I like it has just a classic blade shape. Now, my preferred blade shape is one that I, I'm not real big on upswept blades, but I do enjoy a classic shape. But here's the thing. A lot of what I do is more utility style cutting, opening packages, poking things, starting holes, things like that. And I prefer a tip to be lower than this. But just for, for an everyday carry, an EDC, take this, cut a steak with or something. Th this one, I, I'm really digging it. I think it's the Lark. Did anyone say so? Uh, Michael Warren said, Ray always skimps on the jimps. Fook Doosley said, I like subtle flipper tabs that don't stick out. That's why I like the Vostid Thunderbird. Yep. Uh, that, that's how uh, KC from Nice Fast, that's his new knife. The uh, Jetstream has a flipper tab like this that doesn't stick out. I really, really like it. Richard Dogover said, Bees, I watched your review on the Sativian ST-155 the other day. Ordered one in the green micarta. Supposed to be here tomorrow. Looking forward to checking it out. Man, the ST-155 is an absolute beast. Look at this. Here's a Bumblebee Tuna ST-155. Look at this Chonkmeister. If you want an overbuilt, oversized, fun knife, look at that. Look at this thing. I mean, just look at it. Nice fast set. I can't wait for them to be done. Thanks, bees. You're welcome, KC. Yeah, the, the jet stream. I love, I love when things are things like this because things, uh, flipper tabs like this mean a lot to a lot of people because there are a lot of people that don't like flipper tabs. And I think that a lot, oh, how many times can I say lot? But I think part of that is because. See, I am I am quasi ambidextrous, so I use both both hands. But when you have a flipper tab, what knife is in my pocket right now? Ah, I just sharpened this one last night. Put a new blade on it. Put a new edge on it. 
on the LMAX. This LMAX sharpened so easy. I mean, it, it got, got a burr, and the burr came off so easy on this LMAX. But with a flipper tab, some people get, are getting in and out of the right pocket all the time, and they don't like that flipper tab. I don't keep anything other than a tinker or something like that in my right pocket. I keep my keys and other things in my left pocket. So the flipper tab never matters to me. So like this, this, this is a fidget machine right here and a cutting machine. And one of my favorite blade shapes, one of my favorite knives of all times is the nightshade. I just absolutely love it. I don't know how much cardboard I sliced up last night with this thing. And then I said, Hey, let's put a brand new edge on it. And I put a brand new edge on it. Look at that. Look how clean. Look at that nice clean edge. Whew. Love it. Bumblebee tuna. Joseph Skate said, just bought that. It's in my hand right now. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, and by the way, everyone, um, give us your pocket checks. Let us know what you're flipping and flicking right now. What knife do you have sitting in front of you? Or what knife do you have in your hand? Just check in. Tell us, um, let me put this banner up. Where are you hailing from? Where are you watching from? Are you in Virginia? Are you in the Philippines? Are you in Costa Rica? We have folks from all over the world. Uh, let's see. We're live at the Hive. Sit back, get a snack, pocket check. Um, 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 um. Introduce yourself. Let us know if you're lurking. Tell us what knife you have. If you don't know what it's called, Tell us it's a black knife with a shiny blade and a dull edge. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just having, we're just having a conservation, right? Yeah, I know I said conservation. Um, bees, can you compare that black and yellow chonker to the proponent? Yes. Thought you would never ask. Black and yellow, black and yellow. So we're going to get the knife cam out and do a, night, a size comparison. Oh, it appears your Schwartz is bigger than mine. All right. Uh, where's the proponent? Here's the proponent. I bet the thickness of them isn't a whole lot different. All right. So here is the Sativian ST155. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit here. And then here is the Artisan proponent. ST155. Trying to put them exactly pivot to pivot. All right. So there you go. There's the proponent and the ST155. Thickness wise, um, let's see. The ST155 is thicker than the proponent. <laughs> so if that gives you any indication of the chonkmeisterness of the ST155, this knife is longer, but the ST155 is thicker. Yeah, KC, that knife is going to be so good. I can't wait. Christopher Willing said, Hudson Valley, New York. And I was just flicking Artisan Cutlery Limited Edition Andromeda. Black with the red and orange fat carbon inlay. David Van Steenberg said, I'm in a little town down around San Antonio. Yeah, that is a chunky monkey, right? But they only cost, I think they're like $34, and I'm, there's probably a clippable coupon on there. The, it's a fun knife to have. It's definitely a conversation. You can pull this out, and people will be like, what in the world? I mean, it fills your hand. <laughs> it definitely fills your hand. Um, they're, they're about the same height. Yeah, they're the same height. So the handles are the same height. The ST155 is actually thicker. Let's see. There you go. Look at that. That is a chunky boy. I guarantee. Man, the proponent is heavy. Heavy, heavy. And here, here's the other Sativian. This is the F1, 144. I thought it was the 146. I oh, guess not. There's the ST144 with the rooster tail going on on the top. And no one's reminding me to blink. Shereek Cunningham said, Bees, it's pencil tucky for me. Nicole said, I'm flipping an albatross in Dayton, Washington. Salamando, I missed it. 
God Dropshot said, Alone Goat AXL Titanium Green Micarta. Jarvis said, Hey, bees. I'm your nor northeastern neighbor in Akron, Canton area of Ohio. A Spidey flicking the Mannix too. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to Akron. Uh, Recreational. RC and EDC said, Go grab a can of tuna and chop it up, bees. Bumblebee tuna. A bumblebee tuna. Um, you can grab a can of tuna uh, in a survival situation, and you can use it for a fire to cook to cook food, and then you can eat the tuna. JNC got the scale got those scales off a of NAF sale. Hey, look at that! We always have people get. Thank you, Jarvis, for the blink reminder. My eyes were drying out, man. Chris Jones said, "Hi, my name is Chris Two Bones Jones, and I'm watching from Columbus, Georgia, Fort Benning area. I'm currently flipping and breaking in a crispy new Cold Steel Raha Two. Okay, I have introduced myself. <laughs> well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Top Dog is hailing from the state of confusion. He's at the Capitol. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I see orange. Orange is flashing before my eyes. Hold the bus. As my dad would always say, hold the bus. What do we have here? Renee Ramon with the ten doll hair said, "Hey bees, I've only been into knives for a few years now. Can you tell me do skiff bearings make that big a difference? I always see knives on the secondary market with skiffs as a selling point." Renee, thank you for the ten doll hairs. And you get the Amara hair. And um, oh, where's it at? Oh, it's upstairs. <laughs> Figures. I'm behind my game. I left some knives upstairs. <laughs> I feel naked. Um, I put skiffs on my, you know what, you want to know a small knife that uh, I think is underrated because of its predecessor is the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. I really like that little knife just as an EDC knife. I put skiffs in it last night and it made it smoother. That one it did. Um, another knife that I put skiffs in that improved and it's not a... I can't say that it's a giant improvement. I've put skiffs in a few knives and I'm finding out that the, uh, I can't remember the five millimeter something 34 size is the most common one that, that I keep needing. I, I have a bunch of one sixteenths that I haven't even used, but I put skiffs in this one right here in the Veritas. Yes. I use my knives by the way. I use the heck out of them. Um, I put skiffs in the Veritas and it did improve the action. It made it feel smoother. It, it may have made it drop a tad better, but a, I think maybe part of it is, you know how you can kind of hear and feel the bearings? The, the hear and feel is way smoother. You don't feel the balls moving. <laughs> you don't feel the balls moving around well, as much. Maybe that's part of the skiffs, but I like them. I, it's a way to upgrade your knife a little bit, put a little bit nicer bearings on them. Um, so I can say that it's a noticeable improvement, but not like, oh my goodness gracious, it's got skiff bearings. But it does make a difference. You know, if you're a knife collector and you can feel the ball bearings turning in your knife, you put skiffs in it, that can make a difference. But just cleaning your knife can make a difference too. Wayne said, I skiffed my smock. Nice. It keeps the blade stiffer. Well, there you go. Uh, EDC and Lace said, I said it earlier. Maybe it's getting filter in, filtered in the chat. I don't think anything's getting filtered. Uh, Michael Drew said, check your balls at the door. Clarence said, too much info, bees. Richard Dogober said, chunk. How you liking the Sativian ST-155? It, uh, it's, it's a chunk, Meister. That's a conversational piece type knife for sure. Uh, Joshua said, I'm flipping my CRKT size. I like slim CEO style blades. Maybe do a slim knife video in the future. Um, yeah, I do. I, I, that is, I have so many videos that I want to do. I wish I could retire and, and I would just put out two full length videos a day. I lately, I've been putting out a video every day and it's been crazy. Stacy bolster blades with the five doll hairs. Thank you very much, Stacy, moderator extraordinaire. Been a channel member for 22 months. She says, Bees, Kurt Eisen wants you all to know he's missing everyone. He's been working on Hive Days, says hello to y'all, and wanted me to relay that message. Well, that is freaking awesome. Kurt, 
I hope you're having a good day at work, man. Sorry that you're working during the live stream. I'm hoping maybe you can catch us on your breaks or maybe you got an ear pod in and you're listening right now. Shout out to all the bees bladers that are working right now and you're listening with the earbud or listening at your desk while you're typing away. Shout out to Kurt Eisen. Yeah, we do miss you, Kurt. I hope they change your schedule, man. The Punisher said, bees, I want to design a knife and call it the Chunky Monkey. Dude, you got to do it. Someone's going to do it if you don't. EDC and Lay said, Mateo, I agree. I would much rather hardened washers over bearings. Cliff Spear said, Brian Domingo, I, I really feel like that knife got looked over for some reason, and now it's discontinued. Oh, which knife is that, Cliff? Hey, Cliff, you can make your own bearings and call them Cliff bearings. Casey said, I'm in my Nike house shorts carrying my Runt 5 Magna Cut. Oh, by the way. So if you ever are wearing like some Nike shorts or some uh, like span spandex, what do you call them? Uh, um, you know, like softer, what do you even call that? Like bicycle style shorts or sweats or something like that. And you don't want to carry a knife in your pocket. Don't care. You carry it in your waistband. I always carry a knife in my waistband. The second you don't have a knife on you, you need it. Period. Matt Harvey's flipping the SRM Land 910. It's a great budget knife. Cliff Spear said the Civivi Riffle. Ooh, I like the Riffle, man. That one, ooh, I remember when I got bit by the Riffle. It felt like electricity, the way it bit into my finger. Man, Cliff's talking about the Riffle. Okay. Joshua said, oh, and I'm a, I am a recluse in Wyoming. Uh, SB, SBKN said, brought out my Vanguard Sheepdog XL and was given and was given meat to chop up that's what i'm talking about can you tell me about the echo 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 spin ray wants to know about the echo um i you know what i did a video this week on the echo then this is the newest version shout out to kurt, to kurt kurt eisen love you man get that schedule change bro we need you here on friday nights man Let me take this banner down. Um, yeah. So if you haven't told us where you're watching from, tell us where you're watching from. This is the newest version of the CJRB Echo. And this one's titanium. I, I prefer, I like them both, but I prefer the size of the Echo to the Pyrite for my hand and for what I prefer. It fits my hand better. And here's the other thing is I prefer, let's see, where's it at? you can get there's three versions you can get the stainless steel echo you can get the titanium echo button lock and then you can get the liner version my favorite is the liner lock i just really like how this one feels in my hand right. was this designed by ray laconico it sure as heck feels like it i like the echo I don't, I don't really use the front flipper just every once in a while. I'm, I'm more of, I really like the reverse flick, the snap. I just, I like everything about the liner lock on it. Melvin said, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, Kershaw Buzz Lightyear. Derek Poppenhagen said, I like my Wii Rift Raft in blue titanium. Uh, Betty said, that's my favorite one, Bees. Breeze? Bees? Michael Drew is flipping the Valona. The Cavog is in the pocket. Stacy said, I love the front flipper. Front flippers are not my primary uh, choice, but if I have a good one, if I have a front flipper that's easy for me to front flip with my index finger, then I, I tend to like that front flipper more. Sunny Robinson said, yes, it's a Laconico. Okay, I, I was thinking it was. I, there's something about Ray Laconico knives that I'm drawn to, and I don't know if it, maybe it's the slimness. Maybe it's the slenderness that I like. But this is the new one, and I put the uh, titanium clip on it. And if you're going to get the new titanium Echo, and you're planning on putting the titanium clip on it, before you put it in and out of your pocket or do anything with it, take it straight out of the box and take the factory clip off. That way you won't get a little snail trail underneath where the clip is moving around right there. See that little spot? You don't want to get that. So take the, take the factory clip right off of it and put the new 
titanium clip on it. And you'll have a nice, clean looking echo, echo, echo. Michael Warren said, at work, and I'm flipping the Karaki 2 and a freshly dyed Doman. Ooh, I have a dyed Doman from Top Dog. Let's see. It should be right here. Where's that? Where's my Doman? I need more light. Oh, that's why I don't know, because the top of it's black, and the rest of it is a deep red. Here's my Kaiser Doman. Doman Mini. This was custom died by top dog himself look at that isn't that cool doesn't that look nice nice and rich colored the punisher said i want one of those echoes might have to pick one up here in a bit hey if you're ever going to pick up any knife ever go through my links it helps support the channel doesn't cost you anything i'm getting so many knives out oh what's this oh here's another one i really like that snapping. <laughs> i'm getting really squirreled i love this knife the Kaiser Feist? No, this isn't the Feist, is it? Why can't I remember what it's called? Is it the Feist? Uh, Major Powell said, "What do you think about the Flytanium Arcade?" Um, I've seen it a couple times on the on the site. I would have to look at it again to give you an opinion. I've never felt it, obviously. Darren Pettigrew said, "I just switched to the Kaiser LP. Scary smooth action, dude." Darren, I'm telling you what, the Kaiser LP was. It was one of those ones that when it came out, it didn't get the attention it deserved. Where's my O-Light? Oh, well, there's an art filled. The LP is very similar to, well, it's similar to a couple knives. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Where's the LP? They all look so similar on the top. I just had the LP out a couple days ago. Well, fiddlesticks. The Kaiser LP is similar to the Beg Lighter. Is it, oh, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah. Here's the Kaiser LP. Let me turn off my arc filled. This is a sweet knife. It has a long sheep's foot blade. The point is just about even. It's just a tad lower than the, uh, than the pivot, which is very nice. Very, very nice. But this is a cool knife. Yes, and it's it's every bit as drop shetty as the uh, as the bag lighter, and I don't know why this one didn't get the attention. When I first saw this at Blade Show in 2022, I was like, "Ooh, I like that. It's snappy. It has it has the raised scales, as uh, KC would say. It's their their shadow box scales. The scales are just a little proud, or the uh, liners are just a little proud of the scales. They're so proud. They stick up just a little bit." Kind of making a uh, a frame around it. It's a, it's a good knife, and man, it doesn't get any drop shuttier than that. EDC and Lace said the LP is way slept on. That is, in my opinion, their best flipper. It is so good. The Kaiser Land. That's one that was that was probably one of the most popular ones in 2021. Where's my Land? Yeah, we're bringing up some knives that they they haven't gone away. They're still out there. It's just that so many come out. You know, they get they they get out of the limelight. Here's the Kaiser Land. I got my son one. It's one of his favorite knives. This one is equally as drop shutty. You can't get more drop shutty than that. It's it's as fast as you want it to drop. It drops on its own. It's a fantastic knife. Thomas McDonald said the Dukes is a good old Kaiser banger. I'm flipping now. Joseph Skate said, I've used the link on your channel on the last four I bought. I really appreciate that, man. Uh, JMC said the Civivi Vision. Gary Royal just bought the QSP Hornbill with my link and code. Couldn't help himself. There you go. DNK Knives getting some love. Oh, yeah. The new Kaisers that are out are really good. I'm going to have to use it. Oh, golly. There's so much stuff. There we go. The drop bear. Dwayne Case said, I have the satin blade land, but need the black one. Um, did you all see my short? <laughs> did you see my short video on the refine pens? Here, um, I have a link. I'm now an affiliate with refine, but here's the copper. Um, I've already put, I, I use blue ink, so I've already replaced them with blue ink. There's the copper. It's a copper. There's the copper. Here's the black. 
Now these are kind of a shorter pin. And my preferred one is this titanium, which is a full length pin. It's just a little bit longer. This is my favorite one right here. This one takes uh, G2 refillables. This one will take like Parker style refillables. But I'm, I'm digging this one. I put some KPL dry on the action of the bolt action. And oh, by the way, I have I have 10% off. I have a 10% discount code for refined pins too. But I put some KPL dry on it. And after I used it a few times, now it's much smoother. When I first got it, it was a little roughish. Get to the copper. There you go. Top dog just put it up. Refined pin. 10% code B's 10. Broken AZ knives said I'm really digging the titanium frame lock October. Oh, that one's that's a that's just a beauty. Clarence Davis said hippie festival in two weeks. Bees won't be at the hive that Friday. What say what? Um, let's see. Today is the first. In two weeks, I'm gonna be out of town and I will be doing the hive stream from a remote location. Brian Domingo said, would love to see a shipwrecked copper pin. You know, uh, this might be a good one for me to experiment on. Oh, and by the way, these, these pocket clips, you can, you can remove them. That takes like a, I don't know, what is that? A T6, probably a T6. And you can take the uh, pocket clip off if you don't want the pocket clip on it. And you want it to just look like that right there. I like the weight of the copper. I'm used to the heavier knives from Bastion. So I like, I like more substantial weight on a pin now i've got to where if you hand me a plastic pin or something like that i'm like uh, 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 oh we gotta go back to the future spin race at bees what do you tell about the kaiser brat i love the kaiser brat that that is a fantastic knife it's an integral the kaiser brat say i like this it's the q a the q a hour let's see where's the brat Where is it? Um, it's hiding from me. Where is the Kaiser Brat? What the heck? It's probably right in front of me. You know, I haven't had the Brat. Oh, I haven't had the Brat out in a couple weeks. I'm glad you said that. This is a cool knife. It's really solid. It's, the handle's lightweight. The ergos are very good on it. It's a button lock. It's an integral. They only made one mistake, and that was not making the jimping aggressive enough. I wish the jimping was more aggressive. It's not bad, but I mean, if you're going to put jimping on a flipper tab, make it so it grabs your skin. Yeah, I can feel it, but it's I want it to grab my skin so it takes no effort. Betty Davis said, I really love my Olight pin. Oh, yeah, the Olight pin. Some of those have some heft. I have a brass Olight pin in the like oak, oak something brass, I think it is. And that one is whew. top dog makes a good valid point. He said all of Kaiser knives are cool. Yeah, I'm I'm a Kaiser knife fan. The action on them is so good. What's up, Dan Panella? He said, Good evening, all. <laughs> Recreational said, pins are not mightier than my Praetorian T L O L. Jarvis said, Bees, I have four kids who can all be brats at times. Oh, yeah, tell me about that. I have a puppy that can be a brat. PJ Crabtree says, happy college football season, everyone. Betty Davis said, I have two different ones. Yes, um, I have uh, a few Olight pins. I have some the smaller ones. Um, I have some of the, the, I have some of the minis and I have some of the bigger ones. I have ones that light the area that you're writing. They have laser laser lights on the back of them. Very, this light right here is very bright. It's unbelievably surprisingly bright. And then you can have the mini ones. You can put in a little pouch with the DNA, the DNA twirling. Shout out to Terry T Rex. I remember it, I got such a kick out of it um, when I made an Olight video, and I didn't know what that was called. He said it's DNA uh, something. I can't remember what he called it. Um, oh, what's that word? What are the DNA swirls called? But he said it and just, it was the right timing. It made me laugh. Keen custom tools with the 10 doll hairs. Keen custom tools 
get the Amera hair for a ten doll hair donation. Thank you very much for warming up the honey in the hive. And where'd it go? There it is. Keen Custom Tools with a super chat. Super chat. Arky said something. Rewind said, I just carry the old trusty Zebra F701. PJ Crabtree said, I have a few of the mini O-pins, and they are a bit small for my hands. Yeah, they're not big like all day writing. <sighs> Prado said, I have that pin in every color of the mini. There you go. Shano123 said, I used your code on the Vosti Raccoon Aluminum Frag on White Mountain Knives. I'm breaking it in as we speak. I've used your code many times. That is sweet. I love hearing you get 10% off. Oh, yeah, Helix. Helix, that double Helix. That's what it is. Thank you, Paul Bessemer, for reminding me to blink. Forgetting to blink. My goodness. Uh, Joshua Templeton said Band-Aid free, by the way. Oh, and by the way, if you do carry any kind of little pouch or something, make sure you always have Band-Aids in it. This is this is the other Viperade pouch that I've been checking out and carrying. I'm really digging it. I have my Titanium uh, IT3 in here. And I have, uh, is this, let's see, this, uh, um, I can't remember. I think this is a Vostid. I'm pretty sure this is a Vostid pry bar. Always carry pry bars. That way you don't ruin your knives. And look what else is in here. Here's another Olight mini O-pin. There's the purple. Fits in there perfectly. And, and somebody had somebody had asked me on when I did the video on this if you can fit a phone in here. It's going to depend on what size phone you have. And there's a pocket over here, and I have Band-Aids in there. Prado said, why is it that Bastion has their bolt operate opposite of all the other bolt action pins? Um, you know, I didn't know that they do. Do they? I don't even remember. And I carry, I've carried a bolt, I've carried a Bastion pin for the last year. Dwayne K is rem reminding everyone to smash that thumbs up button. A double helix goes around and round and it comes out here. Yeah, so the Viper Aid pouches, you can get the, the regular versions of these for around, I think, around 19, 20 bucks. And then you can upgrade and get the fancy ones made out of this material right here. It's X Pack material and it's waterproof. It's what they make sales out of. And you, and all you channel members better be getting your uh, your emojis ready because I hear cl the clip clop of little paws. Nice fast that I love my EP1. Yeah, th these are pretty sweet. Hello, puppy. Hello. How you doing? You went for a ride with me today in the truck, didn't you? Huh? Oh, look at this. He's making his own appearance. Thank you, King Custom Tools. Hello. Look here. Hello. How you doing? Did you miss me? Ladies and gentlemen, Bogart is in the hive. Oh, yeah, yeah, there he is. He's like a good boy. What did you bring me, huh? What did you bring? <laughs> yes. Did you retrieve something, huh? What did you retrieve? Look, here's the puppy. He's getting so big. Wait a minute. I'll get it. I'll get it up. He brought a, uh, a slipper. This is B's slipper. There you go. He's a good boy. He said, give it to me. Oh, you're going to pull my microphone off. All right, I'm going to hold him up so he can show how big he is. Here is the little puppy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. With the floppy earballs. Yes, I'm just so cute. I'm such a good little boy. And he rides in the car so well. Yeah, look at that. He is not a little puppy anymore. He's four and a half months old, people. He's only four and a half months old. Gosh, he weighs 38.2 pounds. 
and he's just the cutest thing ever. He's such a good boy. Let me get that. It said, thanks again, bees. I'm digging the cogent. You're very welcome. Look at that. He's such a good boy. It's hard to get a picture with him until it's a beast. Oh. Oh. Ugh. D. Edelman said, he ain't little no more. No. Darren Pettigrew said, the puppy grows at the rate bees shrinks. <laughs> yeah. I gain two pounds. He Or I lose two pounds, he gains it. Puppy. Oh, not puppy. Oh. Trying to show him your big paws, bro. Ugh. He has he has puppy hiccups. Say, I'm a cute little puppy. Say, I'm a cute little puppy. Say, I'm so cute. He is so alert. He he is a very fast thinker. Gosh. Ugh. See, I'm just a good boy. See, I'm just a good boy. Oh, my goodness. All right, you get down here. Now, see, Berkeley has always been a little shy and kind of scared to go places, whereas Bogart will follow me anywhere. Bogart's like, I don't care, man. I'm there, bruh. I'm there, bruh. Dwayne K said, has Bentley made peace with him yet? Uh, Bentley uh, is much more tolerant of him now. Bentley will just kind of stand there like, oh, God, get out of my face. But he doesn't run. Bentley doesn't run from him anymore. He just goes, he, he knows that the puppy's just going to love on him because you're such a good boy. Nope, that's that's my that's my uh, boat Bogart hair remover. Here, you play with that. Richard said, stupid question alert. After you click on open emojis, how do you close them back? Take up chat. It takes up chat window space. Um, an easy way to do it is at the top where you can switch to live chat or um, top chat. If you just, just click top chat and then click live chat again, it'll make it go away without having to go out and come back in. That's what I do. So after I post emoji or something, and it takes up a lot of my chat space. If you go, if you go up where it says live chat, or top chat, just which whichever one you're on, click the other one and then click click back to live chat and then it goes away. One of these days, Bogart is going to take over the live stream. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm, he's getting to the point where here, Bogart, like he can already here, up here, come here, come here, come on, come here, come on, come on, come here. He's like, what? Here. Yeah, it's a good boy. Yes, you are such a good boy. Look at that. He can already reach up this high. Look here. Yes, you are such a good boy. Yes, you are. He is so freaking soft. Oh, my goodness. He is so soft. Ginger Fisher said, got to say I'm not winning. Let me get that. Said, hit the like button. Bees deserves it. Thank you, man. Uh, click the keyboard icon at the bottom, Pidaren said. There you go. You are such a good boy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we went, uh, he went for a drive with me today. We went to the vet to get his uh, uh, monthly preventative, you know, for heartworm, fleas, ticks, and all that. We didn't get him a six month supply because they, the, the medication goes by their weight. And since his weight is so changing fast, we're just getting it month by month until he gets closer to his adult weight, which, uh, and in, if it's any indication, I'm guessing he's going to be probably around the same weight as Berkeley, our other English cream golden retriever who weighs 94 or 95 pounds. Am I lying to the people? Am I lying to the people? Yes. What am I lying about? Everything. She said everything. Brian said, so when do we get a full Bogart stream? I know. D. Edelman said, get the lint roller again, bees. Well, uh, bees blades... LLC bought some lit rollers because they are a business expense. <laughs> so, you know, I have to clean off everything. I have a, the little, uh, I have a little vacuum cleaner. I have this. What is that? Dust and everything like that are not, when you do photography and filming and videography, it shows every little hair. 
And some of the videos, I just leave it in there. And I don't know, some of you might notice, but there'll be a Berkeley hair or a Bentley hair. Or... Brian F said, blink. Oh man, thanks. Let me get that said. I'm curious how they decide what is top chat in real time. I am too. I don't know how in the world they decide, but it does. Easy solution. Never get a dog. Oh, don't say that. Um, buy cream colored shirts. Yeah. I like dark colors. Um, I, I will wear light colored stuff sometimes. I'm, I just, I've always liked dark colors. Um, I was just de deferifying my, my shirt. Uh, somebody said, get a cream colored shirt. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. He only likes dark colors. Well, you know, you know and what? I wear this. Pa Pow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. B's is now in the hive. He like he likes that thing he carried down here. I brought it. Where's uh, Bentley? We've got showing tonight. Uh, he is terrified on the piano because someone decided to. The dog was terrifying him. Attack. Everyone's throwing up the Mrs. B's emoji. Hello, bees, Blader. Once you get set up. And uh, welcome to the brightly colored T-shirt. You want me to go grab them? Yeah. Miss, Mrs. Bees is going to go grab Bentley. So you guys can see the Bentmeister. Technically, this is your shirt. So you don't own colors. Yeah. You know what? I do like the bright neon colors. I I do like wearing like this color or it's my newfound colors. It's either dark colors or colors that smack you in the face. Because <laughs> I got my new shoes. I got my real bright shoes. Gary Graham said, hi, all I'm back. Uh, Mrs. B's went upstairs. She went to get the cat. So she's going to come down with the cat used to look big when I, when I held him up now compared to the puppy, not so much. The pup, the puppy has outgrown him. I love seeing all the emojis. Um, what was I going to show? Okay. I was going to show this unless you see the, uh, the knife cam. Because we're, oh, uh, what time is it? 10 o'clock? Okay. We're still okay on time. But man, once the, once the hive stream gets going, we just, we just start. These are some of the knives that we've been showing. All of these were on the channel this week. Now I'm going to, here's Mrs. B's with, with, um, with Bentley. Here's Bentley. Everybody throw up your Bentley emojis. What a kitty. What a kitty. Oh, the kitty. Oh, the kitty. Oh, the kitty. This is our kitty cat. This is Bentley. He has his own emojis. Oh, the kitty. He, he's still he's still our channel mascot. Oh, the kitty. I think I was our mascot. Berkeley? Yeah. Well, the cat's the one that's always been on the show. He's only in Miami. Oh, the kitty. The cat is just making sure that the dog isn't coming after him. Oh, the kitty. Wow, he's making my biceps burn. Yeah, he's heavy. <laughs> what a kitty. Oh, the kitty. Good thing today was an arm day. Yep. All right. This is. There is. That's how big Bentley is. What he looks like. Oh, the kitty. Oh, I stretched him out. Oh, the kitty. Look at me go. Jarvis said Bentley should have his own zip code. Yeah, it's a chonker right. kitty. All right. Nice fast said, all right, y'all have a good rest of your stream. Time for me to go. Have a good night, Casey. Hi, Casey. Bye, Casey. Oh, snacks. Snacks? He probably wants some snacks. Oh, the kitty wants his snackages. Zadikim, yeah, you can use him for an arm workout if you hold him long enough. Hurt my oh, the kitty. Going over here, before we go, we're getting ready to switch gears and get into more fun. Uh, Mrs. B's is going to do a pizza check, and we're going to talk about knives, snacks, do giveaways, and stuff like that. And before we do that, I don't want to forget, so let's go over here and check out NAF sale and see what they got going on over on NAF sale. An apple? Get, did you get your mic? I don't want to be crunching. Oh. People, you can hit the mute button on it. It has a mute button. That's true. I know, I know. Mrs. B is going to cut up an apple. I'll be 
Yes, let me get that. He is very fluffy. Uh, Todd Carr just put up a, a link to NAF sale. Here is a Kaiser Titanium in 20 seat. That's a good deal. 120 bucks for that knife. If you like the Kaiser October Titanium, this is what one of the versions looks like. If you like that knife, 125 is a good deal. CPM 20 CV blade steel. This is being sold by FT Ryder. This is what it looks like. And that's the milling. Look at the milling on this thing. This is that knife, except for that's the, the blacked out version. This is a fantastic, fantastic knife. And it has one of those uh, like streamlined flipper tab that, that's flat along the top. See like that? That's what the flipper tab looks like on that knife right there. It's such a cool knife. I mean, it is so cool. It's a frame lock. It's titanium. Oh, it's just nothing but primo materials. It is good stuff. Gary Graham said, so Mrs. B's, what did I miss? I was working on a truck. Uh, she'll be right back. She's cutting up an apple. Hey, you stay out of the trash can, little mister. Robert Feely said, I missed out on the October during their sale. Uh, Cop Dog said that satin version is just so sweet. Yeah, it is, Top Dog. Um, and if you're just getting in here, we're going to do giveaways. Um, we, You guys should have us to 300 likes by now, but people forget. They come and go and forget to hit the thumbs up button. So make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Ooh, there's a Fair Forge Stinger, Micro Stinger for whew, 250. A Hogue Deca V2 Original Goat OG Frag XL Stocky Goat Scales. The puppy's doing much better. He's getting used to coming down to the live stream now. He's he's chilled already. There's a Koenig Arius Mini. An Olight Open 2. There you go. It's a two-in-one. Um, you're a two-in-one. 40 doll hairs for two of them. There's an EMP, EMP EDC Thick Boy first production. A Wee Knife Co. Press Check. 190. A press check? That's a cool looking knife. I'm not familiar with that one. A press check. Huh. Bead blast version. That's a pretty cool looking knife. There's a concept Goblin XL. That's a big knife right there. That one's going for 160. That one has CPM S35 VN blade steel. Ben said 250 for Nitro V. Um, what was 250? I don't even remember. Um Micro Stinger Nitro V 250. Oh, I think you know what? This is both knives. It's a Ferrum Forge Stinger and a Micro Stinger. So it's two knives. Both of them have Nitro V 250. How much does a Stinger go for? A Stinger is like what? 1 115, 190, 100. I didn't know they were that high. Um, oh, there you go. Civivi baby banner with the ivory G10. Uh, fifth. Oh, that's a good price. 50 doll hairs. Now that's a good price right there. Miss, Miss Reese 15 is selling that one. What? That's this one right here. Why is my internet cutting out? <clears throat> Mr. 2%. Hey, we have Australia in the hive. Said, I like the red blade, but not the G10. Mark Park said, that one is 200 for the stinger. It's for two different stingers. It's for the regular stinger and the mini stinger. This is what I saw. Um, everyone, here she is, finally settled into the hive. Hi. Well, they didn't see you. Well, I got I was just grabbing my mic. Mrs. B's is miking up. She's getting mic'd up. Watch out. She's getting all mic'd up. Mic'd up on Mount Dew. Yep. There's my Mrs. B's. Hi. Okay. Serious question. When you eat an apple, why do you not eat the core? But then when you cut an apple, you eat the core. Do you know? I pop it out with my knife. I mean, you tougher. eat more apple when you cut it than when like, yeah. you just eat it. Yeah, no you do. bogey. I think it's because when you bite into the core, you end up biting a seed or something. Hi, Radio Geek. This one didn't have seeds. What? I didn't pop a seed out at all. Really? Yeah. Look at that. Mrs. B just cut up a honey crisp. 
Nighttime snack. <laughs> Uncle Boobs says, hey, Mrs. Bees, it's me, Uncle Boobs. <coughs> Hello, Uncle Boobs. Uh, Gary, he is a English cream golden retriever. He is Satan. Daring Pettigrew said, nail check. Naked. PJ Crabtree said, because the core has seeds that include arsenic. This puppy wants apple so bad he can taste it. He's licking his lips. You want me to give him a small piece? Uh, is he allowed to have apples? Apple good for him? I mean, it didn't. You're the one that keeps track of what they can eat. It didn't color a big one. And he ate half of my apple the other day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new glasses? No. I just have a ton of glasses that I ow, that I rotate between. No, nope, you come over here. Sorry. I'm going to turn my mic off so you don't hear me crunching. Ken Faulkner said that's a great snack. Apple slices and peanut butter. Mm, yeah, we, we like honey crisps. They, they cost more, but I really like them. Bogey, come. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Um, so he was tall enough. When he came up, he jumped up and said hello, and you could see him on the camera. Oh, he's getting bigger. Yeah, he is. Donuts are better for you. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Joshua Tipple said apples are good for our squirrels go next door and get apples from the neighbor's apple tree. They go up in the tree and they start eating on them. They drop them and the dog ends up grabbing them. Do you have caramel dip for the apples? No, I'm just eating naked apples. Honey, yeah, they eat apples out of the backyard. So what's the difference? Oh well, yeah, that's what I that's what I was thinking. Baby girl said, I can't wait to get my Civivi Hadso knife. Sherry says, honey crisps are the best apples. Hey, Derek. Uh, Dan said, does anyone have an opinion on the Jared Oser F-22 kickstop? Um, I'm yep. not, I know, I have a kickstop in my, uh, uh, gosh, what is that knife called? Sharp and pointy. Uh, I, I have too many things going through my head. My Chavez has a kickstop. I don't know if that's, it, it's the same kickstop, but I don't know which one you're talking about. Robert Feely likes red delicious apples. Are they kind of sour? Rewind likes to eat the peel on a baked potato. I like to eat raw potatoes. I mean, I I grew up out on the farm and the dog or dogs would pretty much eat any of the fruits and vegetables and it never killed them. So. I just know onions, grapes. Those dehydrated grapes. Uh, raisins? Yeah, those things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Isboy said, what do you think about the NAFS Lander? I don't think I've ever handled the NAFS Lander. Red Delicious, those are the most bland of all apples. I like most any other apples. Uncle Boob said, I, I, I only eat green apples. Um, we did, so I made some fried apples last week. When did I do that? Was it Saturday? Yeah. Saturday, I made fried apples. I like Fuji. I like Golden Delicious. Um, Mr. 2% said, um, my granny is no tart. PJ Crabtree says, I plan to go to Apple Orchard this fall to get some fresh apples. We go to a uh, apple place. Yeah, there's nothing like going into the barn at the, uh, at the not, it's not called an orchard. What's it called? The, I call it's it, a, I call it Hidden Valley Fruit Farm, but it yeah. has a different name now. Yeah, but anyway, when you go to the apple orchard and you walk into the barn, that the smell of apples just it smells so freaking good. I dare you to hold your tongue and say apples. Hold my tongue and say oh uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone right now is holding their tongue with their finger and saying apples. Yep, you're welcome. Uh, Gary Royal has honey crisps in his lunch every day. There you go. Farmers market. Ooh, you know what I got at the farmer's market last week? Apples and Havarti cheese is also great. We'll have to try that. I got a, a musk melon. Does anyone know what a musk melon is? That's what we called it. It's a melon that's musky. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It was so good. I had it every day at work. It was a it was a big, ripe cantaloupe fresh from the farm. We're in Ohio. We're in Ohio. So we get all the fruits and vegetables in the Midwest. Greg says, here in upstate New York, a ton of apple orchards, so you get to pick your own. That would be fun. Oh, you yeah. can have their blueberries. Cantaloupe. Yeah. Can cantaloupe is so good. What's that uh, supposed to sound like? Um, I, I can already imagine in my head what it's supposed to sound like. If you hold your tongue and say oh. apple. 
Probably at, so probably sounds like you're calling someone a something. Yep. Have your neighbor do it or a friend. Must melon and cantaloupe. Man, cantaloupe is so good. No. Gosh, it is so good. I can't eat it. As far as I know, musk melon is a cantaloupe. Maybe they're different, but yeah, this was a cantaloupe and it was, and it, it kind of stunk. It had that good stink you could smell, you know? <laughs> what you doing, puppy? Is that good stuff? Oh, the musk melon's green. Okay, I stand corrected. It wasn't a musk melon. It was a cantaloupe. Cantaloupe makes my mouth itch. <laughs> Zadikim said, eh, it just sounded like I have brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> a honeydew is green. Yeah. Yeah, H-O-V. Will B said, it's H-V-O now. Oh, Hidden Valley sense. Orchard. Like Hidden Valley Fruit Farm better. Yeah, because that's what because like Hidden Hidden Valley Fruit Farm is what you get, you know, like uh, jelly and stuff like that too. I mean, you can still get jelly and stuff there. But I but I think Hidden Valley Fruit Farm. Mm. Jim Neese with the three three doll hair super chat. Thank you, Jim, for warming up the hive with the super chat. Ooh, I put salt on cantaloupe. Yes, S salt on cantaloupe. Salt is also good on watermelon too. Musk melon is a cantaloupe. Someone, yeah, that's what I thought. Someone just told you a really bad bad joke. Oh, by. I missed it. Jim Neese, thank you for the three dial hair super chat. Um, I was gonna buy the 1911 knife on Bose H Blade HQ, but out of stock, and I'm thinking of picking up a CRKT M16 knife. It's just sweet that they're designed after the guns. I want a 1911 one of these days. I was looking at them last night on the internet. A 1911 pew pew. Sherry Cunningham yeah. said, "Bees, why didn't the melons?" Why didn't the melons not get married? They cantaloupe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cantaloupe, you must get married. We love Georgia peaches too. Tara T. Rex said, I don't need to hold my tongue to say that. I use it multiple times per day, yelling at <laughs> idiot drivers. <laughs> I bet so. It's probably, you're, you don't even know you're saying it. Mrs. B's, we need the book recommendation tonight. Ugh. Um, I just started one. Hold on. Little moment, though. Spin race said, Bees, what do you think about the nimble? I like it. It's very nice. It's very nimbly. It's very nimbly. So, I have the nimble XL. I just started one. I rented it from the, I almost said the movie theater, from the bookstore. D. Edelman, I'll put pepper on anything. And let's see. Let me find. Stacy said, The Book of Enoch. The title. <laughs> Let me get that said. Heat that honey till it's runny. <laughs> That's pretty good. Homer said, love carrying my Kimber. So I just started reading Bone and Shadow or Shadow and Bone. I think, excuse me, I'm like two chapters in. It's okay. I mainly wanted to read it before I watched it on, I think it just came out on like Netflix or Hulu or Amazon or one of those streaming services. Well, I'm looking for, I'm, it's not showing up yet. Mark Parks gifted one Bees Blades membership. Mark, who got that membership? Melvin Inman was gifted the membership. Congratulations, Melvin. And thank you, Mark Parks, for spreading some love. I'm struggling with reading lately. Mrs. B said she's struggling. Terry T-Rex said, I don't need to hold my tongue. Oh, wait a minute. I already read that. Yeah, you already read that. <laughs> Prado said, I have a Remington R1 1911. Yeah, maybe maybe when I retire, I'll, I'll do a uh, a reading. firearm channel too. That just means we're gonna have a lot of pupies in the house, won't it? I mean, we already do. <laughs> That's valid. Michael Drew said, "Good night, all. Thanks for the live. Have a great week. Ha have a great week, Michael Drew. Oh, you See know something? I gotta later. do. I am out of Coke Zero. Out I gotta refill. Later. It's time for a little quick ASMR of refilling the Coke Zero. Mm -hmm. So let me get my uh." The stream is frozen. There it is. Get my Sit. stein out here. Sit. Or what is it? What is it called? Tumbler. Get out my tumbler and open up an ice cold. Why is the what is going on with the internet tonight? Is it because I just logged on to YouTube so I can watch the chat? I don't know. I don't know what is going on, but it's terrible. It didn't do it before. Is your phone on on the internet too? Nope. I don't know what's going on. I turned that off. Uh, it just has its moments. I really hope you all didn't hear me just crunching on that apple. Oh, she did. That little ASMR, uh, what do you call those? Uh, Honeycrisp. 
So I'm going to open up an ice cold Coca-Cola Zero just because I like to and it's fun. Here we go. That's fun. There you go. Ooh, Richard Dogabert's retiring in the 29th of this month. All right, here we go. There we go. Got it poured. People are telling me channels. Uh, Zadikin said, Bees, you watch Demolition Ranch, Brandon Herrera, Kentucky Ballistics, Grand Thumb, Donut Operator? I don't think so. I watch Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> this Bees watches Grand Theft Auto. KY Ballistics is lucky to be alive. Glitchy McGlitcherson. I don't actually, it, they just, whatever shows up in my feed. I watch YouTube shorts. So whatever shows up in my feed. Oh, yeah, Rick, I know that. Yeah, the dogs don't get grapes. Uh, Tropical said, ah, the sound of aspartame. <laughs> Somebody said it sounds like death in a cup. Oh, Mr. Two Percent, sound, the sound of death in a glass. Death in a glass. Okay. Chris, uh, sure, I'll give him I'll give him some ASR honey crisp. Oh, something else we're going to do, because we fit everything in here. It's time for... No internet. <sighs> this really gets on my nerves. A Turkish munchie. We'll see what's in the box. Caramels with caramel dip. I was gonna say, do you want me to log out? No, no. It was doing it when you're before you opened your computer. Do you have any plans for when you get to fifty thousand subs? Um. Well, I could do a giveaway, but we do so many giveaways, it wouldn't be a whole lot different than our have, other giveaways. It would have to be like a, a hooper big one. <laughs> a hooper big one? A hooper big one. Zadikin said, I have terrible internet bees. So these always catch my uh, my attention. It's the Super Roll Hazelnut. Super Roll Hazelnut. It's a Turkish delight, and it's very clearly marked of when it expires. Do you own any neck knives? Uh, I, yeah, I have a few, not many neck knives that i've shown on the channel what if you're like fifty thousand? excuse me well all i oh. need to do is have one video go viral and i'd be at fifty thousand overnight i'm saying like what if it hits like another milestone like our anniversary or somebody's birthday or a random tuesday <laughs> i don't i don't smell what you're stepping in i was just saying stupid stuff do you like hazelnut? I do not. I didn't think so. <laughs> Spin rice said, what is your blade shape? Mm, Circular. I like them all. Roundy. This is one of my favorite blade shapes right here. Man, this internet is getting on my nerves. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know. It, will you remind me tomorrow or uh, Monday to call and get high speed internet? Yes. What is that? This is also his favorite. Oh, yeah. I do like Warncliffe's. I just meant big and chunky. BFV Gunner said pizza knife. Can I link my YouTube channel here? Sure, Thomas. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Two Percent said, Christopher, one of the, my mates passed away from drinking Coke. Had a small op. They could not stop the bleeding. They couldn't stitch him up. Passed away on the table. Wow. There was a story. I don't know how truthful it is. There was a story going around my high school that one of our science teachers passed away because he drank too much Diet Coke and it ate away his brain. Wow. I'm going to say that's false, but I don't know. Is boy said, do you not like Benchmades? I've never seen a review for one. I have reviewed the Benchmade Mini, Mini Adamas. Um, I've also done a, a video with, uh, Prado 24. I think it was Prado's. It was someone's, uh, um, bench made, uh, the small one that everyone likes. I've only had two on the channel. Um, there's a couple things. One bench made doesn't send anything for me to review Two, Ooh. they haven't caught my 
They just haven't caught me enough based on the price. Now, I know a big part of the price of Benchmade is because they have such a good warranty. I personally don't need a warranty on a knife. Prado says I have two you can review anytime. Prado, I think you're the one that sent me one of the ones that I reviewed. I thought it was you. I did a video on two ni two knives. One of them was uh, one of them was the Yojumbo, and the other one was a Benchmade. Uh, I don't know if it was a Griptilian. Joshua Templeton has an original military issued 1911. Uh, Fluffy Delgado said the three bunch maids per month that actually have good QC get sent to Zach stuff. Prado says, no, sir, not me. Um, yeah. Uh, Fred, Fred said, what does bench maids warranty even include? Well, I, I can't speak on it very much, but it's my understanding that if you need it sharpened or you need anything done, you can send it to them. You pay the shipping. And they will fix whatever's wrong with it. David, you can't lose it if you never had it. The Punisher said, no Benchmades here. Too expensive for my taste. Um, you know, I, I can't, I'm not shutting them down. I, I don't discount any knife brand per se. But Benchmades price for the knife, I'm not sure that I understand completely. They, they've had some, what are you? He's snooter sniffing. He's all heck bent on I something. Mean, I can continue to feed him apples, but... That might upset I don't know what his... he was pulling so hard for. He was sniffing the ground. Uh, his boy said, it seems like you don't get what you pay for. Um, they've released some knives that I didn't understand the price for the D2 and the materials. Um, the the Griptilian, I think it was the one I, you could bend the scales until they touched. I thought that was kind of weird for the price. SBKNJ55 says, my first knife was a Benchmade bug out. Had really weak detent would open in my pocket. Oh, that's not cool. What do they usually run? Like ballpark? They're they're usually like a hundred and well, you know what? Let's go take a quick look. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a quick look. Fred P says so. Even if your blade snaps, they fix it. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they will. Huh. Um, by the way, um, I had someone on my CJRB Echo video this week say that they were upset because they bought. I can't remember what knife from CJRB and that they emailed them and they said that CJRB said, please send us a video of the, the weak D10 or whatever the problem was. And they also said that they don't honor their warranty. Well, I saw that CJRB replied to them and said, yes, we, we already sent you an email with a return label to return the knife, they were asking for a video so they could show to their factory of what the problem was to prevent it from happening in the future. So it sounds like CJRB um, is honoring their warranties. So that was probably a misunderstanding. Um, Todd Carr says, I think Benchmade charges for blade replacement now, don't they? I'm not sure. Let's go take a quick gander. By the way, I am an affiliate to Blade HQ, so I'm going to go check out Blade HQ because that's where I'm an affiliate to. And I have a Blade HQ affiliate link in each one of the videos and my live streams if you want to go check them out. But I want to go see. Let's go look at the prices real quick of some Blade HQ. We don't do a whole lot of uh, internet diving. I usually save that for Tri-State. <laughs> Uh, Prado says Hoback is the only company I've ever had no luck with warranty on. Never heard of them. All right. Here's some bench maids. So here's a bench made automatic, uh, OD green 360. There's a, a bench made and Magna cut for 400. There's a bench made 940 Osborne for a 195. Benchmade bug at access lock for $171. All right. So why is this, what makes this knife $171? Let's see what we got here. So this is a bug out. Um, has CPM S30V. Okay. Deadpool Lee says what? What's it has the plastic handles. What's the time limit on a Gerber blade replacement in years? Sorry, I said that weird. Say it again. Gerber, what's the time limit on a Gerber blade replacement in years? Uh, I don't know. I didn't, I don't know. I don't know what Gerber's 
warranties are. So I'm not sure why a knife with S30V and plastic handles is $171. Maybe that's part of my misunderstanding on, on some Benchmades is, is the price. Somebody said butterfly tax. Um, they, it, for the handles, it says, I don't think they're G10. Dwayne K says it has a butterfly on it. It says handle material is polymer. So polymer makes me think plastic. I'm not sure. Uh, well, SB, SBKN does make one point. It's made in the USA. So anything that is made in the USA is going to cost a little more. Mini bug out, $153. A grip Tillion, 144 So what's what's the materials on a grip Tillion? So 144 it has uh, S30V. What are those handles made of? The handles are polymer. So I'm guessing this is like a grivery material. I would expect at least G10. Uh, BFB says, bees, anyone who can shop at AAFES gets a pretty good discount on Benchmades that way. Uh, there you go. God Drop Shot said, I have a mini Infidel. I broke all the body screws off in the knife. They, I sent it in and they repaired it. No questions asked. Paid zero dollars. There you go. Uh, Doomsday Scouts. What's up, Doomsday Scouts? He said, bug outs are plastic handles, but they're made in the USA. Um, the Punisher said, y'all see the new Benchmade, the Narrows. It's $522 and utter trash. Um, I have seen a lot of negative reviews on the Narrows. Glass polymer handle, probably. Bob, Mana McNob, Mana McNob. <laughs> Melvin said, I like the prices on F and Grow knives and styles. Glass polymer handles, I reckon. Yeah, glass polymer, it's a GFN or RFN. Okay. So I, I, I think that's probably just it. It, but you're you're paying for an American American made. Whenever you buy a knife that's American made, it's it's going to cost more. Mini bug out one sixty two, an Osborne two bench made. Okay, so here is a bench made automatic knife. It's an auto. It's a bench made Osborne ninety four hundred. It's an automatic. It's two hundred and eighty dollars two seventy nine. It has S thirty V, which isn't super crazy steel. Uh, aluminum handles. Ken, said, Ken Falconer says, a lot of people aren't happy with Benchmade pricing. I only have the bug out in the 940. Just not so interested in the brand, but, but many are big fans. And then Deadpool Lee says, my wife put my bug out in the washer and dryer. <laughs> it got laundered. Darn thing came out bent. Oh, uh -oh. no. Oh, it probably, probably got really hot in the washing machine. You mean the dryer? The drying machine. <laughs> I was going to say washer, depending on what flavor water you used. Yes, I said it. What flavor water? Yeah, so I I have, I can't speak much of Benchmade because I don't have any. I just, maybe it's the price that turned me off. Or you know, it might not be that. It might just be the style isn't just my favorite. I like tall, thin, slicey blades. I, I don't know. I just haven't got there. I'm sure they will hit the hit the channel at some point or if I if I get an interest. But I'm I'm pretty much neutral when it comes to Benchmade. Cliff Spear said bug out with stock scales is trash. Bug out with titanium scales is great. Now, yeah, if you get a bug out, I, I've heard that. See, you hear a lot of things, right? You hear things. It's dangerous if you're hearing things. Yeah, you hear things. I've heard a lot of people saying that the Benchmades are good if you if put your own scales that you pay another $90 for on them. So, um. So here is the Tanto. swordfish, the QSP swordfish. And this is a, would you say Tanto? I said Santa. Oh, I said Tanto. And it has a Warncliffe blade. And this thing, I am digging it. Warncliffe. I really like it. It's a Warncliffe. So a Warncliffe. It kind of reminds me of the front of a train. Yeah, yeah. The Warncliffe is flat on the bottom. Yes. And has a long slanted edge yes. at the top. Whereas you know what a sheep's foot is. Yes. Sheep's foot usually has almost a flat bevel or a secondary bevel and a rounded front. So mm. it's not as piercing. This one, you're less likely to get jabbed by, whereas this one, you will get jabbed by. 
don't know. There's there's many different versions of both, and there's a lot of combinations of both. I don't hate it. See the difference though? The sheep's foot is more rounded in a in a Warren Cliff is very pointed and has a gradual slope. I kind of like that blade it, shape. This one? Yeah. This one is more piercing. Which it's is, easier for packages which and is stuff. weird for me because I usually don't like that. Anywho. Well, this is this is another example of a Warren Cliff, a very extreme Warren Cliff. That is an absolute no for me. <laughs> I don't like it. Mr. Two Percent said, what about a cow's foot? Infected or not infected? Yeah. Okay, quick, quick raise of hands. Who in here has seen or watched the videos of the guys that trim the cow hooves and they clean them out and they get the pus out and they, they trim them and cut them? Guilty. Is that just not satisfying? Guilty. I was quick raise of hands. I went down a, uh, a rock climbing rabbit hole before I came down. I was watching people rock climb, climb rocks. Hi. Hi. My face. Yeah, the, the those hoof care videos are cool. Now, the people who like the hoof care videos. Thomas Johnson said the pimple poppers. Do you also like pimple poppers or like ingrown hair nose? <laughs> On a second note, Betty Davis said we had meatloaf for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> the hoof GP, yes, that guy. Uh, Level on up says I'm eating hair bees. Well, well, hopefully you're not eating ground beef. I've never had a weak stomach, so. It, I, I have to think about think ingrown twice. nose hairs. Ingrown what? Is that a thing? Oh no! I don't know what your snooter symptoms sir, but cleaning the frogs off of horses. Yes. Do you know what that is? No. It's a part of the hoof. Oh. You know, so if the hoof is like this, this is the front right here. There's that you, little. You gotta you gotta share. It's like radio or radio. I'm they sure can't people share. already know what it is. I don't know. Well, I mean, you're you show me, show them. All right. So, front of horse hoof. Hold on, let me. Front of hoof. Okay. Like at the top of the hoof, right around in this area, there's a V shape. Right. That is what the frog is called. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what they always have to get all the gunk out of. Yeah. And then they trim it. Yeah. They, I mean, they trim all of well, it. Well, I used to watch growing up on the farm. I the the farrier would come out and do the horses, and it was always very satisfying watching him do that. Ooh, I never got to trim hooves. But I did get to grind some uh, teeth down. Float teeth. Float teeth. This is the QSP BFV swordfish. The frog is like under the fingernail. Earwax videos, not so much. The QSP swordfish. And shout out to Don Farmer from DNK Knives for letting me borrow a bunch of QSPs. I made a video on seven QSPs, including the penguin and the lark and the penguin mini. Oh, yeah. And here's a couple that we didn't Ugh. get out yet. I can't even remember the name of it. What, what's this one? Somebody tell me. What's the name of this one? Zadikim says he likes to watch people throw up. Uh, now, that that's, Ooh, does that. not sound appealing to My whatsoever. My mother, I don't want to say loves, but she finds it hilarious when people gag. It makes so her laugh. So anytime somebody is like gagging or like getting ready to puke, she's just over there giggling like a two-year-old. <laughs> Robert Feely said, this knife not, knife talk took a turn. Mrs. Bees has a degree in animal science. I do. She knows all about cows and horses and livestock and all that stuff. I do. She has a degree. Believe me, she's still paying for it. I am. Don't get us started. Please don't. It is a very tender subject. Yes. <laughs> I just don't understand. I don't know why you brought this up. I don't understand how you can go to school, get a loan, and then 13 years later, your loan is higher than what you originally asked for. Well. Ugh. But yeah, I have a, well, short-term animal science, long-term agriculture. This is the Kestrel. Thank you, James. I couldn't remember what it was called. This is the QSP Kestrel. Kestrel. Uh, Tim B said that his local Walmart, fi Walmart, Walmart, finally put the Swiss Tech stuff out yesterday. They were they were a few weeks behind. But they all the WalMarts are getting the Swiss. Hey, get back over here! All the WalMarts are getting the Swiss Tech stuff on the shelves. Gary says yes, Mrs. B's. I eat raw potatoes too. 
This is the Kestrel. This is a knife, small to medium sized knife. More of a, it's a medium sized knife. Kestrel. What is a Kestrel? A Kestrel is a small falcon. Hmm. I thought it was something. Uh, we we captured one, or not that it was difficult, that had an injured wing and took it to a place that fixed it up. Um, and then you have this one here, which I like the handle. The thicker handle on this one is very nice. I don't know what you're doing, sir, but you look awfully cute. I can't remember the name of this one either. It is the pterodactyl. It is the Terry T. Rex dactyl. Swiss techs have made it to our local shelves, Darren Pettigrew said. EDC and Lee says, I have a kestrel, but it ain't a knife. So you have a bird? Um... I'm just gonna say this because this popped in my head, and this is how random my brain horn thinks. Bill? The hornbill, um, just random. I'm gonna say level on up because I just remembered that if I see his name, it's level on up and not level one up. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, SR. It says impressive, Mrs. B is very cool. I love animals too. Yeah, I went to school down in Molehead, Kentucky. Todd Carr said, what are you doing, dog? He's sniffing. Hey. And he's trying to lay down on his bed. What are you doing? He's like, oh, I can't do anything right down here. Hey, come here. Let's, let's come here. Come here. Let's say hi to everybody before you lay down. I had a barn. Deadpool here, says, I had a barn now come fly on. right into my truck. Come on. Like in the cab come on. Come on. or like into the side of it. Level on, level on up said, hey, thanks, bees. Thanks, Mrs. Bees. <laughs> he almost said it again. Hey, Nick Boren got two of the Swiss techs from Walmart today. How about hey. that? Everyone's getting in on them. Get back up here. <sighs> no. Truck riding buddy. He likes to take a ride in the truck. Hmm. Yeah, he is. Eyeball. Run up front. Run, run to the front real quick. I will. I had a pigeon fly into my my bedroom window. Oh god! I will walk slowly because my knee hurts me. We're gonna. It's it's photo time. I pop and crack like a ninety seven year old. Wait, oh, there we go. I wonder if I hold an apple slice over here, what he would do. He would go nuts. Look at the paws on this dude. Yeah, they they're, hurt. They're like the size of a full-grown dog's He's paws. like, why are we looking at it? Would you look at it? What are we looking do, at? Oh, wait, we'll do a profile. Look at look at that. How regal. How becoming. handsome. So handsome. Just so handsome. <laughs> are you guys both doing side profiles? Yeah, so, side profile. Your shirt's big. Like this extra large is more of like a extra extra extra. That's large. an XX. X. I think it's an XXL. No, it's right? just an extra large. Oh, that's a big XL. That's probably why I was we got on it. At, we got it at the tractor supply. Tractor supply. It's probably why it was on sale. Don't jump. Don't. Oh, okay, come over here. You, you can lay down in your bed. Devo says here. finally home. Here and in the hive. Hello, everyone. There you go. Lay down on your bed. Good boy. Fred. Bees, do you know about Ed Bassmaster? People have said, I've never seen Ed Bassmaster, but people have said they accused me of stealing his line. He goes, would you look at it or, or look at it? That's all I know of Ed Bassmaster. So I'm guessing he is a fishing channel. Probably. Just look at it. Look at them paws. Where's, would you look at it? Did you take his toy away? Um, I brought one. I don't know where it went. Where did it go? I'm trying to get a tactical piece of uh, lint stuff here Found so it. we can do a giveaway. Casey said, I got my winning package today. A, a Kubi Echo and great swag pack and member for one year today. Casey with the one year. Oh, this is the dog's favorite toy, y'all. This is the this is the favorite toy. This is it jumps all around. Sounds extra spooky tonight. They okay. love it. Okay. Come here. I didn't know you let him go. Would you fix this? What's up, Backpack B? Backpack B's listening in yeah, while making trendy. mods and stuff. What's up? Backpack B will probably be on. I don't know. He's on all the time. Super late. 
it helps if you pull it in the right spot. I, I could not get that. I couldn't get it started. Here we go. Fresh and so clean. clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. Dun, 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 dun. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? Just look at it. Just look at it. Jarvis says it's sounds, backpack B in sounds, the hive. Sounds like an RC car. It does sound like an RC. That's the second one we have. The other one unlived itself. <laughs> they used it so much. Um, Don't jump. Your tootsies hurt. Um, Gary said I tried star fruit for the first time. It was so good. I've never had star fruit. I, I'm gonna buy it, but the last few times we've been to Kroger, the star fruit they had was was wimpy. The next time they get some good star fruit, I'm gonna buy some. I used to buy it all the time. Backpack B is doing some anos. He's doing an anno party. Anodizing. Bees, I was in Dayton an hour ago. David Coolis was in my neck of the woods an hour ago. Deadpool Lee says, my daughter's dog's favorite toy is the possum that she finds. Well, I mean, I would rather have a possum than a skunk. Let's see. Mrs. Bees needs to come up with a creative hashtag so we can do a gall. Okay. Everyone likes a good gall. I will think of a couple, couple things. There's my dude. Oh, dang. Don't come to me. Don't go take it off like that, bro. How long has it been since he's been to the bathroom? He's been down here, what, 40 minutes? 47 minutes. 47 minutes. Uh, Renee Ramon <laughs> said you need to try jackfruit. I'm going to run him outside. I don't want him to have an accident. Down you here. deal um, this. I will take him outside. Ah, okay, you take him outside. Give me just two seconds. Oh, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. It's gaw, gaw, gaw. <laughs> Michael Warren said truffle butter. <clears throat> Let me pull up the giveaway tool here. Don't be a tool. Terry T-Rex said, I drive by the Walmart I met you and Mrs. B's at earlier today on my way to North Carolina. Terry T-Rex goes oh. right down the road. Hey, that's fun. Yeah, we, we met uh, Terry T-Rex in a Walmart parking lot. He was in his big rig. He has a very nice big rig. Because he, he's a traveling man. Rubber ducky, the, rubber ducky, this is side buster. Come on. Uh, BFV Gunner said, Dur Dorian fruit should be avoided at all costs. If you haven't hit the like button yet. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to hit the like button yet, y'all. We should be at 500 thumbs up because everyone's forgetting. So yep. which one out of those is your favorite? And I'll tell you my favorite. Um, I don't even know what that is. Isn't that how you spell it? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Can you not read my handwriting? Continue to talk. Oh, I think I know what it is now. Fred said, duck was nibbling on me, so I didn't. Mark said, did I lose? <laughs> Hope North Carolina treats you well. Just look at it, Howard K said. BFV, I'm interested in trying durian fruit. I will, I, I'll try anything once. I'll try any kind of food once. Does that? Oh, I like that one. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Okay. I, I just... What do it, you have? It did, I was thinking something else, so I wasn't reading it right. Do you need a sticky note? No, you can have it. Okay. Uh, it's slightly smooshed and wet. What? He's the one I just got it from. <laughs> Why would I give it back to him? All right. Freeze-dried lemon heads are good. My, my sister has a lemon head addiction. She loves those things. Robin loves lemon heads. Speaking of sisters, where is Sarah? She's usually here. My little sister, Sarah. Your mic, uh, no, it's not on. It's not on? It's not on. Oh, well, I asked you if it was off, and you're like, no. Well, I'm deaf. <laughs> Let's see. All right. All right, I've got the hashtag up, and then I'm going to put it up on the screen. Then you guys, all right, before I put up the hashtag for this gall, okay, only do it one time. There is no hurry. You can take your time. It'll be another 15 minutes before we actually do it, okay? It takes that long. So don't do it more than once. It will screw it up for everyone. Um, in this giveaway, um, this one's going to be U.S. residents only just for this particular one. Um, 
you got to be 18 or older, or have a parent that says it's okay. Um, mainly just enter once. Okay. You don't get counted twice. If you enter more than once, all it does is slow down StreamYard. StreamYard slow enough as it is. Okay. Um, it's going to be all capital letters and then I'll tell, I'll show you the stuff that's going to be in the giveaway. All right. So relax. There's no rush. There's no hurry. It's not going anywhere. People flip out and, and, keep typing it over and over again and spam the chat. It doesn't help you because StreamYard will only count you one time, period. All right. Now that I've said that, let me go on here and put down what the hashtag is going to be. And this describes me and Mrs. B's every evening when we walk the dogs. We go a couple mile walk. Do, 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 do. All right. Let me make sure I spelled it right. Yep, I spelled it right. Okay, here we go. So Mrs. B's and I, when we go for a walk, we have um, vesty things on that are, uh, what do you call it? Uh, reflective. And we both have gobers on us. We, we have gober on the front and a gober on the back. And if you don't know what a gober is, that is a small flashy or solid light that you can get. Oh, I should have, hey, bring a gober with you. Uh, Mrs. B is going to bring one down. Huh? Hello, mister. It's an Olight, Olight light, and it's really cool. And we wear them because we don't have street lights in our neighborhood. It is a, uh, not rural, but rural, but it's very dark. So we have reflective stuff and gobers flashing. So the hashtag for this giveaway is going to be covered in gobers. Covered in gobers. And it's geo. Here, Mrs. B's is going to show you. Um, let me take one of these banners down. I wasn't sure if you wanted the dangly one or the clippy one. Uh, hold on just a second. I'm going to take this uh, down because oh. it's taking up space. There we go. Covered in gobers. All convoluted. All right. So this is this is the vest. You stay with mom. So this is the vest that we wear. No, um, absolutely not. You said it looks weird like this, but here is the vest. Put it on and model it off for a I don't want to model it. I mean, I okay. Don't be messing with my straps. Well, I don't clip mine because oh my gosh, look at all the fur. I don't clip mine. I just let it hang. But you can see what it looks like in the back. And then here's the gober. And you can have them be a solid color or blinking. Gober. Is it on? Yeah, it's red. I just turned it off. Oh, turn it back on. Okay. Ooh. Okay, it's on. So there, there's what it looks like there. These are reflective. And then here's another gober. This is Mrs. B's. That's mine. And you can, you can change... I always show these on my, uh, <laughs> I always hit that squirrel. Where's Boo? He's missing the cake. I know, Mrs. Boo. Where's <laughs> Mr. Boo? But you can have it red, green, blue, white, or these three flashing colors. Or if you double tap it, you can have it flashing red or flashing green or flashing blue or flashing white. We have found that the brightest one that really shows up the best at night is the green. It really pops. It's very bright. But these reflective vests are super reflective. And the dog's uh, leashes are also reflective. And I also have a pair of pants that are reflective. Mrs. B's has a pair of pants that's reflective. And this strap right here, I have one. We have two that you put around your ankle. So it also one around your ankle. So you are very visible. You turn those off. I will. And wherever that squirrel is, I kick it. Yes, you do. Without fail. Here's your doobie goober back. Come here, Mr. Goober. Uh, Fook Doosley, I think you misspelled. It's covered in gobers. It's G-O-B-E-R-S. Those are the little flashy lights. How do I get it to flash the tricolor? Um, you go to solid, double click to go to solid. Now you just click until you get to the triples. Mm. 
It's so confusing. I know. They should have had it on the on the blinking ones. There we go. Zadikim said, we're all goofy goobers. You're a goofy goober. I'm a goofy goober. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, he got away from me. Do you just want me to put him back upstairs? No, you can. I mean, are you going to show I him mean, off more? Probably. I mean, he, he's Bogey. Pretty... Bogart. Don't even. Get over here. There's cat food. Come over here. Go to Pop-Pop. Come here, mister. Go to Pop-Pop. Come here. Good Come boy. Come yeah. get on your bed. Good boy. Uh, Doomsday says, I don't Scoot wear up. my goober. More. But my dogs all have goobers on their collars. See, he he hangs gobers from his dog's collars. You can clip them on the collars. You can clip them on the leashes. We actually have, well, our big guy has a collar that lights up. Babies always come out covered in goobers. <laughs> Ew. Gooby goobers. Zadikin said, like the live, if you don't... This duck will eat you and uh -oh. poop you out. Come here, little man. Wait, don't call over yet. Got it. He's going after that. Come here, little man. Yeah, here. just. Betty here. Davis Lay says down. we have a couple of them. Here. I actually really like them. Lay down. I didn't think I was going to like it until we started using them. We don't. Oh, first off, side note, the moon is still very bright. Oh, yeah, it was a blue it was a blue moon right now. If you haven't seen the moon the last couple of nights, it's gigantic. Can I get the squirrel on Amazon? Yes. Um, yes, you your talking, dogs will love it. Are you talking about the little jumpy thing? They also come in a crab, a little crazy eye green monster thing, and something else. I'll post the link if I know how. Let's see if I can do this. Be patient. I will be stepping out of the chat. You're on your own. You know what it's called? I'm looking it up. Once you find out what it's called, I'll uh, post a Bees Blades link. Do we have to be present to win? I'm fading pretty fast. Uh, life on spokes. Yes, it, it's not going to take that long. <clears throat> All right. Let me show you what's gonna what you're going to win here. All right, here we go. So this uh, was donated. This knife was donated by Q-Ball. And where do you see the box? Yeah, I'm just going to show you the box right now. It's an Asher knife. Yeah, you see it. So I'm going to set that right here and show you the stuff that's in it. So this is a re-gift from OCD for EDC. I've started kind of doing what OC Mrs. OCD does. What? Do you want to know what it's called? Hold on. Waiting for a connection. Oh my goodness. And we're waiting. Okay, what's it called? It is called a Hyper Pet Doggy Tail Interactive Plush. Oh, it's probably because uh... I'm on it. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to put a link in the description of the best dog toy ever. It is fantastic toy. What? Oh, we need high speed internet. Well. Unable to generate link. Seriously? Do you want me to close my stuff? What all do you have open? I just have YouTube no, just chat. Have, you can leave that up. Okay. Like the live. Okay, here we go. If you don't, this duck will marry your sister and then divorce her. Okay. You say so. Here's the link to the our dog's favorite toy. Favorite toy. Favorite. Even our scaredy cat likes it. Yes. There you go. There's a the link. All right. So this is a re-gift from Mrs. OCD for EDC. It's some little shiny little ball things. Ball. And a what do you call that? A bee's gnome. A cue ball nine eight one sticker. A Smoky Mountain Knife Work sticker and just a bunch of stickers. Way of Knife, EDC Gearhouse, Savibi sticker, 
Shed Knives sticker. We're going to have Shed Knives as a guest sometime in the near future on the channel or on a, on a live stream. If you guys, what do you think about having Shed Knives on for a guest? I think that'll be very cool. There's a Terry T-Rex sticker. Terry T-Rex himself is in the hive. There is a better than cardboard Lancelot leather. If you want some, something made out of leather, go to lancelotleather.com or go to, uh, uh, just drew a blank. I was going to say OCD for EDC. I'll check go it to out. EDC Joshua. round table. Dessert warrior sticker. Does it have to be in all caps? Um, it, I don't know. It doesn't have to be. It says it doesn't have to be. It's a VV sticker. Here's a shark lock magnet. Here, look at this. A Devo Knives bottle opener. That's fancy. It's like pewter or something. Mrs. Pewter Schmidt. There's a mermaid sticker. A blade. Here's a Blade HQ beehive sticker. Whew. Here's a wee knife Uncle sticker. Uncle Boobs says, I have an idea for an Uncle Boobs sticker, but I don't think it'll be family friendly. Probably not. There's a Kaiser sticker. Hey, come over here. Here's a keep a Band-Aid sticker. Keep a Band-Aid handy. And a Kaiser sticker. A don't cut yourself sticker. Hey. How about a pow right in the kisser sticker? Another Kaiser sticker. Yeah, again. A Do Bees Blades right? Bees Burger sticker. What are you eating? Here's a just look at it sticker. What are you eating? Here's a always carry a knife. Rule number nine. Alice, a.k.a. Alicord Paracord. Because you can't say her name without saying her entire Because I handle. always have to say Alice, a.k.a. Alicord Paracord. Er, er, Alicord Paracord Crafts. Go check her out. She has a website and Instagram. And another Kaiser sticker. And then a few of these little shiny Kaiser 10th anniversary stickers. So there's your swag pack. And now let me show you the Asher knife that you're going to win. Oh. It's an Asher knife. I can't remember. What is it called? I can't remember. Here's the knife. I believe it's S30 or S35VN. Look at that. Check that out. Thank you very much, Q-Ball, for donating this. This is S35VN blade steel. It is a liner lock. It is premium blade steel. It's an Asher knife. How about that? I can't remember what it's called. Somebody tell me. Big shout out to Q-Ball for donating an Asher knife for the giveaway. And if you ever have a knife you want to send in for the giveaways, my address is in, every, in the description and comment section of every video and live stream. So if you want to donate something to make someone's life that much better and make their day, week, or month, or year, then by all means, send it in. And let me know that it's for giveaway. It's it's the picket, Asher Picket. Thank you very much. So that is a sweet everyday carry knife. Bogey. It's nice and snappy too. Hey, what are you doing? This is the black picket. His ear looks dark. And I almost forgot, you can reverse flick this with the nail nick. Steven Johnson has one. I also have one. Hey. I bought them when they were on super sale. The, they were like factory seconds with small minor flaws, things like that. Leave it yeah, on. they were like, tw yeah, Prado, they were $25. I see you. All right, so you put this back in his package and we'll pick a winner. Pick a lucky winner. Look at all that stuff. All right, here we go. Let's uh, switch this around. Where's it at? Where's what? I got it. And pull up the winter thingy. Cool little knife and very nice blade steel. Level one up said pick a gober. Did you get a gober? Did you grab one? I thought you just wanted me to show them. Oh, that's right. We already showed them. <laughs> I was like, I just left them on the vest because. They... No. Yeah, we already showed them. All right, let me let me uh, Scooby Dooby Doo. Where art thou? Why hast thou placest the Scooby Snacks? Winston Churchill. We're over three hundred. Hundred. Creepers. 
Where'd you get them peepers? peepers. Let me share my screeners. It's a weird movie. All right, here we go. Let's see who's going to win. Pick a gober. Like, pick a winner. Pick a gober. Any gober. Pick a goober. All right, here we go. Let's see who's going to win. Ready? Go. And the winner is... Vicky B. Hey. Hey. hey oh, Vicky B. How about them apples? You know who that is, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I just sent... Something to Ken. Lady, are you still in here? <laughs> uh, uh, Ken Faulkner's freaking out right now. Like, you got to be kidding me. Ken may have got his, that he got DSKFS to him uh, last week. It it should have made it. It might have made it. I think, I can't remember. It probably, he probably got it. So, Ken Faulkner, I hope you're still listening. I hope you guys are still watching. Congratulations, Vic, Vicky. Winner, winner, winner. Look chicken at you go. dinner. Is this her first win? Yeah, it is. That is Vicky B's cat. It is. I got a picture of the cat earlier. Sleeping. She Ken is Faulkner here. says she is here. <laughs> I know she's here. Congratulations, Vicky. Uh, well, you guys know my email address. You know, that's how I keep track of things. So please yeah, send me an email. This is my first win ever. How about them apples? I already know the address, but still send me an email. That's how we keep track. That is very, very cool. Oh, Get it, Ken girl. Faulkner, he's, Ken's getting his on Tuesday. Wow, that's a, that's a long ship time. And then again, it's going all the way across the United States. And wow. I did not pick the, the most expensive shipping method. It was whatever pirate ship picked out. So congratulations, Vicky. Winner, winner. Winner, winner. And we'll and you'll have to see if Ken takes it from you or not. I will make sure to put some dog hairs in it. Oh yeah. We'll have to we'll have to put something special. Maybe we'll put a Turkish snack in there. Night BFV. Good night, BFV Gunner. Um said, well, folks, meds have said said sleep now. So I'll catch y'all wonderful high rouge at the next bees boogie. So uh, if you if you will talk to them on the chat for a minute while I put these stickers back in because I, I don't want to lose them. Trying to figure something. I out almost mi yeah. mix match. Well, I did mix <laughs> match. Ken says I will help her with the email. There you go. As uh, in, you're gonna send it and steal it from her. Yeah, Ken, you just send me the email. You don't do that, sir. This is her win. <laughs> Everyone's saying. Ken will be like, I don't know, bees. He never sent it. <laughs> I never arrived. I don't know what happened. Well, I don't know. I mean, I sometimes depending on how now the people that won last week, their stuff got shipped out already. But a lot a, often it can take two, three, sometimes four weeks for me to get things shipped out. It just depends on how busy life is for bees. That's just and life this month is very busy. Life is very in my. In my uh, my life, the month of September is going to be a whirlwind. Every weekend <laughs> is planned out already. Ken said, thanks, Bees and Mrs. Bees. She might let me, quote unquote, borrow the knife. Right. She's going to let you look at it from afar. Eyes only. Fred said, hey, Bees, where are you? We are in Ohio. Southwest Ohio. Uh, there's something I was going to tell you, but I totally forgot. Wasn't relevant though. Um, what's the connection to bees? Um, it's, what isn't the connection to bees? Everything with me has all been about the letter B. My first name, my last name, street I live on, my my dogs, my cats, my son. Everything starts with a B. People call me Mister Bees or What's up, B? Hey, B. So it's instead of saying B apostrophe S blades, I made it Bees blades. It Night flows hour, off K. the tongue better, and then it morphed into bees blades. Vicky says, "Before I won, I told Ken I got the first choice of swag, and if he loved the knife, he could have it." There you go. <laughs> I'm the only one in the family who does not start with a B. Yeah, Mrs. Bees is the only one. Well, I guess technically last name, but that don't count. Christopher said September is National Honey Month, so I can see the bees being busy. The dog is licking the floor like a weirdo. Hey, it's one way to get clean. I reckon this floor, I don't think, will ever be clean. Be 
clean. Be clean. Be clean or not to be, be clean. Be there or be square. <laughs> Excuse me. So are there any, um, let, let me ask. Doing cases, my family has all D names. D names. Level on up said, sure it does, Mrs. B's. Look at that. I said level on up. It's because you're not like studying it. You just kind of quickly glance at FYI. Oh, no, I paid attention. Four likes. Jeremy Bauer said the sleeping pills kicked in. So good night, every people. Good night, sir. Sleep well. There's Alice, aka Alicor Paracord, even though it doesn't say that anymore. Yeah. And I, it, I said it first. It feels like years. I've said it for so long. That's just how I say it because I had to think it out. Ke Kelly O'Neill is covered in gobers. You got a down pat. Betty Davis said, my name starts with the B. Yeah, our dogs are Berkeley and Bogart, and the cat is Bentley. The kitty cat that passed away last year was Berber. Oh, there's the pet. So are there any knives that anyone wants to know more about or wants to see? These are all the scalpel knives right here. And these, this is the giant big old ST-155. It's just too big. This is more of a conversation piece, fun knife to have. It weighs about 42 pounds. You could use it as, you could use it as a boat anchor. <laughs> or a canoe anchor. Has a big forward choil. I mean, it's actually a very slicey blade. Nice and clean. It's 14C28. It, it is a fingerprint magnet. Uh, there you go. You got him. I figured. But they have these in four different configurations. There's two different micartas and then two different uh, G10s. This one here is the Bumblebee Tuna. Bumblebee Tuna. Dwayne K says, another awesome live, everyone. Thank you, Bees and Mrs. Bees and the Knife family. Always fun. Love you guys. Who said, uh, Blade Hook Daniel said, show the one with multiple. <laughs> Blade Hook Daniel loves his lanyard holes. When I, whenever I show a knife that doesn't have lanyard holes, he will make sure to bring out, point out. <laughs> So there you go. This one, technically, if you want to put it that way, has five lanyard holes. If you want to put a lanyard coming right off the top of the back of the knife, you could you could do it. You could hook. You could uh, ask Alice to make you a special lanyard with five connections and just have lanyards all over the place. You could put five lanyards on this, but those holes match something. What Who they makes match? it? Uh, this is a QSP uh, poop. <laughs> it's the QSP poop. Is that the turd knife? Uh, Tropical said braid it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was picturing in my head. No, this isn't the turd knife. This is the QSP. I can't remember the name of it. It's for, measuring, case, it's for measuring pivot, pivot sizes? sizes. Oh, there you go. Hey, get out of the box. So I do like how they match <laughs> the, the, the speed holes. A, a lot of folks do not like holes in their in their scales. He's eating packing peanuts. Uh, if we are done with him for the evening. Yeah, you can take him up. I think he will retire. Do you want to say goodbye to your people? Bug uh, we're going to show you Bogart one more time before he heads upstairs. All right. Say goodnight to your people. Come here, mister. He is hyper-focused on that packing peanut. Come here, peanut. man. Come here, puppy. Hey, hello. Here. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Ready? Oh. There he is. There he is. There's Bogart. And all of his crazy glory. There's the bogey boy. You're ridiculous. Say goodnight to your people, sir. Say goodnight, people. He's like, I'm just going to chew on hands. Goodnight, people. So I'm just I'm just going to sit here and be handsome. Be a handsome little man. Let me get that likes the shorty clip. Show the two frag scale blades. All right. Brick Atkins said, you're going to get a hernia, bees. Level one up said, don't Bogart the Bogart. I got a bogey in my lap. The bogey boy. He's such a good boy. Um, what banner do you have up? Um, covered in gobers. The dog just changed everything. Uh, hey. And he just a cute one. September is a busy month around here as well, said TDF. 
Um, I'm turning the big 49, September 7th. My dad turns 76 tomorrow. His dad's birthday was September 20th. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. Okay. All right. Bogart's going upstairs. Come on, Bogachoga. Good boy. I'm covered in golden retriever hair. Golden retriever hair. Dwayne K said, if you want to see more, some funny videos with dogs, watch Hammy and Victoria on Instagram. I laugh so hard. They are corgis. Michael Warren, happy birthday on the twas the 27th. Happy birthday. Yeah, James, his feet are giant. Happy birthday tour to France. Hey, the Punisher 2's birthday was yesterday. Ha hey, everybody that has a September, uh, October, or uh, what am I saying? An August. <laughs> if we missed your August, September, your August birthday or it's september let us know it's your birthday so we can tell you happy birthday Ooh, look at this i just happen to have this land there there's a gemini i like carrying the gemini it's one, one of my my faves i don't know i think i i think the snappiness is something i really like about it i don't know what it is this is the the gemini with the refere scales that glow Ken Faulkner said, got to send some shipping for Vicky's first win. Thanks, bees. Thank you, Ken. Thank you very much for helping with the shipping, man. Ken coming through with the $10 hairs. Super chat. Wow. I got to scroll down. I need to get better at putting people's comments up on, up on the screen. I mean, just regular comments in general. But Ken Faulkner with the $10 hairs, and he gets the Amera hair. Yeah. Yeah, man, the Amer hair is looking crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Blade took Daniel said my birthday was uh, fun on July thirteenth. Passing kitty stuff. So, oh, that's that's fun. No. Level level on up said got to roll some jars of jelly down a hill. Two fun facts. First fun fact: the dog is laying on the naked couch and not on the side where she is. And two, the new news guy does not blink when he's on live. Oh, because he's reading. Very uncomfortable. Uh, Matt Harvey said, do you have a QSP hedgehog? I believe, what is this? Is this is this the hedgehog? It's not mine, but I have one in my hand. I should have shut the door. James Holding said, love you all. Stay safe and enjoy your weekend. Shano123 said, thanks for everything, bees and Mrs. Bees. You're the best. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, this is the, this is the hedgehog. It's pretty cool for slip joint. Very thin behind the edge. Richard Dogabert's taken off. Said it's been a great night at the hive. Toodles. Two towels. Nice and comfortable. It doesn't have a clip. It's one you would maybe put in a little slip or just pocket drop. Night, Radio Geek. Radio Geek, have a good night. Have a safe weekend. Safe holiday weekend. I have to remember not to work on Monday. Um, here is the Remet Rhino. I have a 15% discount code on this button lock. You can't open it with the button. How do you get all the knives to review and show if they're not yours? Fred P. Asked. Uh, Fred P. DNK Knives sent the QSP Penguins for me to check out. The rest of them are usually sent by the companies. Sir, the, the QSP penguins here uh, were sent by DNK knives. Don Farmer, who is always in the chat, he's a bees blader. He is the he's the owner operator of DNK knives, and he gave us a ten percent discount code bees blades. Todd Carr said, "Bees of all the textures on a knife, which one is your favorite?" Oh my gosh, that you know I like a G ten. With a with a pretty aggressive texture on it, I also like my Carta when it has a really good. I, I geez, that's tough. Now on uh, titanium, I like milled titanium a lot. My favorite, I just about my favorite milled titanium is the the titanium that is that you see a lot on the Migron knives or the M8 knives like this. It just feels so good. I just enjoy the texture of it. But What's for like a working texture, I like the G10 that comes on like a pair of two or a pair of three. I wish it was a little more aggressive. I like I like semi-aggressive 
texture. I like grippy texture. Huh. Do you see the Dwayne K said, oh, my son's checkup came back good on his cancer and he had removed on his kidney. No signs of anything showing up. Thank God. That's great. news. That is excellent news. Joshua said, what is the brown handle knife below the razor knife? This is the Sativian ST144. Let me make sure I'm showing you also the knife cam. And thank you for the ten doll hairs, Ken. What's up, T O D E D C? This is the Sativian ST144, and I believe that's called the Rooster Tail design. They have it on some of their knives. This one is, this is the other one that was on the the video with the big chonkers. The chonky chonkers. The big chonky McChonkersons. Michael said the milling on the Karaki feels so good. Yeah, it does. So does. Jason Skates said good night, Bogey. The concept shard. So here you go. Here's a look. They they these come in at least the brown and the green micarta. Has the blue accent pivot collar. These, oh, this might be 14C. Yeah. This is 14C 28N, and this knife is like, I don't know, 25 bucks. Um, James said, what do you think of the QSP yeah. Osprey? Um, let's see, which one's the Osprey? Spork Life says, I'm here now. You all can relax now. Yeah. I don't know that I've actually held the Osprey. Uh, Justin... Says the best aggressive G10 I found is on the Ontario Rat One Red with S35BN. Yeah, I like. Basically, I just like it if it has palpable texture, good texture. Like here's the Gator, here's the Bosti Gator. This has good texture to it. It's not. It's not aggressive. Joshua and Creepleton would like to know how much they sell for. Which one? I'm assuming the one he has to see with the handle. Um, I don't remember which one I showed him. Uh, what is the brown handle knife below? Oh, the razor knife? yeah, I think these are like twenty-five dollars. There's there's a link in the in the description of this live stream, and in the last couple videos, uh, the links are in the. I did the video on these knives uh, yesterday, I believe, sometime this week. If you go and look. If you look at the video that shows this knife, this knife is on the picture of the video. And in that video, there are links to that, that exact knife. And I believe they're like 25 bucks, somewhere, somewhere very close to 24 to 26, something like that. Uh, Steve O said the ZT0350 has good texture. Yes. I re I haven't I haven't held that knife in like I don't know two years and I still remember how good that texture is on that G10. Um, if you want to know how good the texture is on it, if Mattisfaction still has his, he won it. It was donated by um, uh, Jake uh, Jack's lungs donated it, and then we gave it away and Mattisfaction won it. David Coolis said, "Good night, bees. Have a good night." Yeah, Dwayne K, this does look like a bulldozer. It's a chunkmeister. Zena's crate. Yeah. And it's 14C28 in, baby. And it shuts very nice. I'm out of the chat, sorry. I'm looking at something else. Uh, Dwayne K says, looks like the bulldozer, that thick one. Prado got a ZT0350 from NAF sale. Oh, very nice. Uh, TDF said, I got a, I just got a new, I got a Kaiser Seahorse. Very good, grippy texture G10 on that one. The action is typical Kaiser. It has become my new favorite low budget knife. Kaiser Seahorse. Uh, yeah, the QSB Osprey, I do remember I had that one in and I checked it out and we gave it away. But I don't remember anything negative about it. So, I mean, QSP makes good knives. Can you go potty? 
Yeah, I took him out. And I remember he came down by himself and we got the gobers. I didn't take him out before I put him back in. Kaiser Seahorse. Get a discount code on the ZT0350 from B Edmund EDC. Hey, there you go. Melvin says, Puppy sounds unhappy. Puppy is very unhappy. Yes. Um, let's see. Kaiser Seahorse. <laughs> Liner lock. G10 handle. Oh, the brand new one. Where did you get it? Because it hasn't dropped on the Kaiser site yet. That's a good looking knife. See, Kaiser told me, um, K, K, Crazy K might have been the one that uh, designed the seahorse. But the seahorse, Kaiser says, the knives aren't going to drop until the third. And then all these places have different places had them drop. So I'm like, what? what's the deal? Steve-O said the QSB Hornbill is on his list. Dwayne K got his from White Mountain Knives. See, I didn't even know the, that I knew that the fancy one was being released, but some of the dealers released them earlier. So I guess if some of those dealers are sold out, when I put my video out, they'll be available on Kaiser's website. Zadikin said, yo, who's doing the hearts with me right now? They're, they're, they're going heart happy. A uh, White Mountain also got the Elmax Hyper. Ooh, you can get the you can get the Kaiser Hyper in Elmax. Where's my Hyper? So apparently you can get this bad boy at White Mountain Knives in Elmax. And I think the Elmax version is like silver. SR Hawk Jr. said, "Love my QSP Penguin. I use it a lot. Gonna going." To get a second one sometime soon. Oh man, you, you got to start a collection of QSP penguins. I'm due to get another penguin, definitely. Prado said, "I want a I want a uh, leak in Magna Cut." Dwayne K said, "Kaiser's releasing all new models today or tomorrow. Uh, they're releasing them Sunday at 10 p.m. Weird time. I got to ask them why they're not waiting until 10 p.m. at night to release them. They need to move that back to at least eight. Wayne Smarjik is Harding. A said, got you with some hearts. Mrs. B's pizza we had tonight was a new one. Dill pickle. And the other one we got just in case was a bacon and ham. There's your pizza check for Mrs. B's. There's your pizza check. A silent pizza check. Well, you were talking. I didn't want to interrupt, so I just typed it. Oh, well, you got to interrupt. Eh, sometimes. Greg says because it's 10 a.m. there. Where are you at, Greg Maroney, that it's 10 a.m.? I oh, know, oh, Terry. Oh, oh, That's why we saying. got it. Terry says, dill pickle pizza sounds interesting. It was... Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I will read you the description of the dill pickle pizza, and you guys tell me what you think of it. Did I... I sent you... Okay. Zadikim had spicy chicken sandwiches. So... It's called the real dill pickle pizza. <laughs> the real deal. Um, it starts off. It says we start off with a buttermilk ranch base, then add some dill seasoning, mozzarella, and provolone cheese with dill pickle chips. Would anyone eat that? Dwayne Case said I can eat pickles on anything. See, I love pickles too, but what caught me up was the dill pickle seasoning was it, was what, too, what it was it was too much dill or maybe it just wasn't warm enough i don't know i mean it was good it wasn't very flavorful just in ohio had fried pork chops that sounds good we've had pork chops in our fridge for probably longer than we should have okay here's a question would you rather Anytime a place has garbage pizza, get one. Side note, we will hold out for garbage pizza, I guess. Okay, here is the question. If you had to choose between eating a dill pickle pizza or a pizza with pineapple on it, which would you go for? 
Gary said, well, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Bees, I can't hang anymore. I'm tired. It's not the cards for me to win tonight, y'all. Have a good night, Gary. Good night, sir. Joshua said, all I eat on pizza is ham and pineapple. Baby girl likes the sweet pickles. I like them both. Top dog said, pizza's like sex. Even bad pizza is still pretty good. <laughs> Ken said, at Atlanta Blade Show, we went to eat at Hop Daddy and loved it. We found one near here. We are going to try this weekend. Hope it is good. Oh. Hope it is as good. I don't think it'll be as good just because like you're not on quote unquote vacation. Right. But I bet it'll still be good. All right. So we got a lot of pineapples, a few pickles. Pineapple because I can pick them off. That's cheating. Um, we buy pineapples because I get to cut them up. I'm, I'm pretty darn good at cutting up pineapple. You should try Wickles Pickles. Wickles Pickles. They have a little bit of bite. Where would you even purchase that? Would you get that from like, uh, what is it, Jungle Gems or Trader Joe's? Yeah, probably. I saw that too, Doink K. I really want to try it. It says, saw a great video. Put dry ranch dressing in a jar with dill spears leave overnight take each spear out wrap it in bacon and bake it on a cookie sheet in the oven i probably would just eat the pickle straight out of the jar uh who said that mcm said why is pineapple the only acceptable pizza fruit asking on behalf of the other fruits <laughs> Oh, that's a good point. I wonder what apple would taste like oh, on a pizza. Josh Brain, just let me know you were in tonight's live, and I'll take 75% off the knife. I'm assuming someone is going to be purchasing a knife. Oh, you must be selling it on NAF sale or something. Yeah. $75 off the knife. Tropical says, I eat pineapples. I eat pickles, but I don't eat pineapple. Pineapple pickles? <laughs> Pineapple pickle pizza. Wow. Wickle pickles are sold at grocery stores. I've seen them at Kroger and Ingles. Huh. I'll have to look into it. Peanut butter jelly pizza? Mm. Here's another question. Have any of you... Oh, that's a good point, Michael Warren. Every pizza has tomato on it because tomato is a fruit. Oh. Anywho, before I was rudely interrupted. Well, that's what we do. Have any of you ever eaten pineapple and it left a bad taste in your mouth after you've eaten it? I had that happen the other day. It was weird. Yeah, sometimes you can get a pineapple that like straight out burn your tongue. It's weird. I just thought it was me, honestly. Tropical says acid. Jay says never. I mean, I've never... I thought, honestly, because I was eating some pineapple, I ate a couple pieces of strawberry, and I had some grapes, and I thought maybe the combo of how I ate it was bad. What's that middle one? Uh, these these are all refined pin. This is the EP1, and I don't know if this might be the EP2. I'm not sure. I don't know the names of them, but that's a copper one. Ah, yes. Oh. Okay, Todd Carr, green or black? Can I see that middle one? Thank you. Mrs. Bees likes that uh, copper one. Are these yours? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As she evilly, evilly laughs. I think that one I put a, I don't know if I put a fine point. Mrs. Bees mics keep muffling. That's probably because I got it like straight up in my neck tonight. Green oh, and yeah, it's black. touching your neck. I'll just stick it there. Too much or unripe pineapple does that. Good to know. Yeah, it almost, it was real gross. Did we get an answer? Green or black olives? If I eat too much fresh pineapple, it burns my mouth, Stacy said. A metallic taste. Yes. Yeah, so, some pineapples have more of whatever that is. Every once in a while, you get one that does that. Is my mic better since I rearranged it? <laughs> Terry says, I think Mrs. B's got herself a new copper pen. I think you might be right. Oh, no. Well, this is what happens. <laughs> Black olives. Agreed. 
Green olives are good on pizza, but I would prefer black ones on pizza. Oh, I didn't even talk about this. Oh, yes. This pen is now mine. You like that ink ink I put in it? It is nice and smooth. Well, that's the that's the uh, ink that I put in my Bastion bold action pens. May I yeah, you can borrow, it. borrow this forever? Forever? <laughs> well, actually, I, I will need to use it in another video. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I was going to take it to work. Well, take it to work. Just bring it back home. That's questionable. Fermented-ish, Michael Warren. What watch are you wearing, Bees? Uh, this is a G-Shock. And if you want specifics. battery acid. It's a G-Shock. I've been wearing this one for a few years now. Huh. The Punisher 2 says, I wonder if you could use pineapple to force a patina on a carbon steel blade. I'm going to say yes. It's is a it? it's a Casio 5091. Cassano's all meat pizza. Hmm. I like Cassano's. Travis Kirk says, bees, are we still live? Did I make it this week? Yes. Yes and yes. James says that's a shocker. What are you showing? I'm oh, just showing watch. him the the model number of this exact one. It's 5091. You can see EDC at the top. Says, 5081 maybe. EDC and Lace says yes, 100. percent You can force patina with pineapple. It's a 5081. I feel like that's not good for my stomach if you can force patina. Uh, people that work with pineapples have to wear gloves because it we'll is burn. so acidic. Yes. Dang. Hey, Ryan Vest said, I collect G-Shock. Sweet watch. Hey, thank you. My watch is cooler. Mrs. B's has a uh, Galaxy watch. I want the newest Galaxy Pro. It's like the Galaxy 4 or something Show like them. that. Show them the coolness. There's Mrs. B's cool watch. And it changes colors. And she has had 8,440 steps today. That's pretty impressive. And it changes colors and it's rose gold. Uh, what's been your favorite flavor vape? What? Um, I mean, I used to be into vaping huge. I, I, I made my own juice. Ew, it's all pink. That's gross. I made my own juice and I sold it. <laughs> so I, the most, the best flavors were the ones that I made myself. Um, I used to make any dessert flavor, every fruit flavor you could imagine. I had an entire lab set up. Travis so says it, I it grow just, pineapples. It would change. Uh, Homer said, "If you go to Upper Chicago, go to Jor Giordano's. Giordano's. We have a Giordano's. We have a Giordano's here, but I don't think it's as good as." Chicago. I'm vaping strawberry cheesecake right now. EDC and Lace said you know, so bees does what BG and PG. Yes, I did. And I used 100 milliliters per liter or 100, uh, whatever. You're I, not supposed to vape strawberry cheesecake. You're supposed <laughs> to eat it. Just saying. I made every flavor under the sun. Uh, Rick said, hey, bees, are you going to vote? Yes, on issue two. What? Well, um, South Betty still Davis, builds coils. Betty Davis has the same watch. I think if I would get the a new watch, I might do a bigger, maybe a bigger. I face. like I like larger, larger faces, Although, larger bezels. That one's a pretty good size for my wrist. My wrist isn't as big as it used to be, though. You but, can, but still, that it won't get any smaller because my bones go from there to there. I've Dwayne K. Big don't bone. give Mr. B's ideas. We've already grown an onion in our yard. Yeah. Dwayne K. says you can grow a pineapple from the green top cut out of the pineapple. There's a video on YouTube. Uh, Stephen Johnson, yes, I used to build coils and I would sell them too. I'd make Clapton coils, double double Claptons. I would make, uh, oh gosh, what are they called? Uh, snake coils. Uh, yeah, I. Good night, I had Robert every, Feely. Have a great weekend and be safe. I had all every kind of uh, every kind of uh, of wire you could imagine, and I, I would do. I would. I went to a couple. I was into it. When I get into something, I get into something. I when it all started back around 2013, somewhere around there, 
I would go to all of the vape things. We had something at the VFW where uh, over the course of five hours, there were 900 people. The VFW said that that was the best their building has ever smelled, and it smelled delicious for two weeks. Um, Jay says, bees, remeasure your hand now. Um, I've remeasured my hand. My hand is still four, three, four and three and a half. It's still the same width. So that hasn't changed. It's just not as puffy. My fingers aren't as puffy. Uh, quad core alien coils. Yes. All foreign language to me. Quad core alien coils. Those are good. Did you ever master the aliens? Yeah, that was tough. But yeah, it's still four inches. Good night, Rick. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Thomas Wheeler says, asking for a friend. Is there a second giveaway tonight? Um, we sh we will probably do a second giveaway. <laughs> Tropical says, I trap possums and relocate them. <laughs> I'm sitting in a chair with my feet propped up on a desk. And he's referring to Virginia opossums. Patches, guns, and knives said, at least I made an appearance. Well, it's about time. Well, hello. Hello, Patches, guns, and knives. Betty Davis says, Clarence Davis and I have vaped for five years. Hey. Now, were you a smoker first and went to vaping or just picked up vaping? Oh, I guarantee they were smokers first. Anyone need to do some surgery? Here's your little G10 Olatans. The only thing I don't like about vaping is like when you're out and about in the wild and you smell something delicious and you're like, Oh my God, that smells so good. What is it? And you think it's like a delicious baked good store and you turn the corner and it's just a bunch of people vaping. And oh, you're like, yeah. That's disappointing. I used to make the most delicious flavors. I made uh, cinnamon coffee cake flavors. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, you name it. Uh, I had a pizza flavor. That one wasn't that great. But I had it. I had it down to a science. I had all the lab stuff, and I had to wear gloves because I I used very <laughs> concentrated nick, so it was a lot cheaper that way. Ken says, if we get to four hundred likes, then I'm sure there will be another giveaway. Just saying. Just saying. So we should probably get to four hundred likes. Prado says I haven't smoked a cig in fifteen years. Quit cold turkey. That's using... the way to do it. Using THC as a crutch. VCR fine said, I quit, uh, I quit smoking because of vaping, so I can't hate on it. Vaping Grandpa says, now you're talking my language. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, I, uh, I still have a bunch of flavors upstairs. Um, I still have a giant bottle of 100 mils per milligram. 100... Gosh, yeah, it's a hundred, um, hundred mils per milliliter. I don't know. I, I can't think straight. I still have a, that, a big thing of that frozen, yeah. but, um, I, I'm trying to think of the, some of the commons ones, common popular ones were like vanilla custard, um, the more rich flavors and the fruity flavors. I liked the fruity ones the best. Didn't you make one that was like fruity pebbles or something? Uh, yes. I had fruity pebbles. I didn't like the smell of that. I, I had I had several different cereal ones. I had lemon flavors, and I, I if you put a tad, get lemon or juicy lemon. And if you put a tad of juicy lemon in, it will make uh, it will make fruit flavors pop. I have recipes, secret recipes. I had vape shops trying to buy my recipes. Stacy said I have to quit smoking before I can have surgery. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Somebody but you said can do it. Steve-O says, I got something called leather tongue from vaping. That's from too much PG. You need you need to... It, Is that what happens? Yes. I, I don't like PG. My body doesn't like PG. It dries my mouth out. So I, I use high VG. PG brings out more flavor. It's, it's propylene glycol. VG is vegetable glycerin. Cinnamon churro is a great custard vape. See, a yeah, I would make custom, would just be custard vapes. Ryan Vest said, I quit smoking for surgery. You can do it. Ken Faulkner said, I will start making some new accounts. <laughs> he wants to get us to 400. What are we at? Steven Johnson said, yeah, adding a dash of pear is another tip. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's crazy how when you get into the science of flavor and tastes, 
um, people that would tell me, oh, I can't stand whatever. I wouldn't tell them that that was one of the ingredients that that probably is why they liked it. Because if you don't know what's in something, it's it's uh, it's all about your your taste buds and how they perceive things. Jarvis said, I made a killer PB and J vape juice. It's an awesome strawberry custard and a Captain Crunch cereal with Mick. Oh yeah. I had, I had uh, peanut butter and uh, peanut butter and banana, peanut butter, banana. I sold a lot of that. Laura said the nicotine pouches are the way to quit smoking. It's how I quit a year and a half ago. Yeah, that one. Uh, BX said, as a past smoker and vapor, watch for diacetyl and vape flavors. It, is, it can cause popcorn lungs. Yeah, that that was a thing that came out a while, uh, a long time ago, but it was discovered quickly. And I, I that was that was a big controversy, and it was brought up because of people that work at popcorn factories. But I don't know that it was actually ever shown that it did happen from vaping. But I never had any of that stuff. Good night, Terry. Safe travels. Have, be safe, Terry. It's going to be, I wonder if it's going to be a busy weekend. Yeah, it's, it's Labor Day weekend. Everybody be careful. There's going to be, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of drunk drivers Crazies. on the road. Crazies. There's going to be DUIs. Mrs. B is going to have a busy week next week because there's going to be yeah. people getting arrested. Unfortunately, I am on accidents too. Gareth said, how, how, how it I fell asleep. How's it going? It's going. All right. So you know what they say? It pays to stay. A lot of you bees bladers know what Popcorn that means. Popcorn lung is only present in people that have pre-existing lung conditions. I think popcorn lung is working in the popcorn factory too long. Yeah, it was from diacetyl. <laughs> um, let me see. I'm going to do a new, I'm going to do a new hashtag. That way we get people that, that have, that are here. The Punisher 2 says, I quit smoking cold turkey. What helped me quit was thinking I wanted to be around my nieces and nephews. Why would you smoke cold turkey? I mean, I quit smoking cold turkey. He smoked cold turkey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, the part of the sentence that got me was, thinking i wanted to be around my nieces and nephews i take it you don't want to be around them anymore <laughs> fook Duzley said woohoo glad i stayed partially awake mostly sort of christopher says i get home from work tomorrow and i won't be leaving the house until tuesday no crazies for me there you go yeah be careful um, if you're gonna drink and you're go and you go somewhere most places, here, here's a public service announcement. Most places have a program that will pick you up and take you home. And if not, check this out. And if you don't believe me, try it. If you call the sheriff's department and say, hey, I've been drinking and I don't have a ride home. Is there any way I could get a lift home? There's a very good chance that they will do that because they would rather drive you home then have to arrest you for as long DUI. as they're not on a crazy call yeah as long as as long as they're not you know as long as they have someone available crazy call, your sheriff or your local police department may just do that because you're calling in good faith saying i i can't drive drunk and i don't have money for a cab or whatever is there any way i could get a ride home it's worth the try our sheriff's department in our area they did a public service announcement and said Hey, if you can't get a ride share or, or a ride home or a taxi or something, call us. So that's something to keep in mind if you're a drinker and you're out doing your thing. Oh, I know the Punisher too. I was just giving you a hard time. What's up? Jay has no skills. Uh, let's see. We'll do an easy one here. No drinking and driving. Yes. No speeding and driving crazy either. Uh, Joseph's, blah, Joseph says, Hey, Mr. B, do you have anything coming in this weekend that you're really excited about? Um, I have about, I have about 30 or 40 knives in the queue right now. And there are several that I'm really excited about. I have some Caval knives that I'm excited about. Um, a couple, two or three new brands to the channel. 
I have an OTF that I'm actually, I'm not a huge OTF fan, but the one that I'm going to be hopefully doing in the next week or so, that one I'm really excited about. Um, huh. The the new the new Kaiser, uh, I can't remember the name of it, with the uh, micarta inlays. James, how does that work if you have Love an emergency? One. James says, we don't have police. We are unincorporated. Well, that means you have a sheriff's department. Oh. Sheriff's department covers anything that's not incorporated. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna come over here and go to my hashtag. We're no longer covered in gobers. Please, Tuck Daniel says I have lost two people in the hands of drunk drivers. That's sad. James Alton said they're stationed in Walmart. Jay said, Thomas, I'm getting the same one due tomorrow. Uh, vaping grandpa said, my, my wife liked the smell so much. I set her up with one of my mechs and zero milligrams. She uses occasionally. There you go. Hmm. Yeah. I, I recently got some zero, zero nicotine vape. And how do you feel about it? Um, it's not the, va I like the vape, but just the actual mechanical mod is weak. Hmm. It's not, uh, it doesn't put out enough, uh, vape. Do they make other ones, or is that just the only one you saw? That was just a cheap one. Ah. But truth be told, I can just I could if I have any VG left, I could make some um, my own real quick. I can just sure. make some apple strawberry or something like that. Apple snacks. All right. So, um, what Snacky are we going to give away? I don't know. Do, 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 I feel like do, I just do. got really tired. I have a, I have a swag pack. I just haven't decided on the knife to give away. I I think I'm going to give away a knife that sold out really fast at most places. I don't know if DNK knife has them anywhere, but DNK knife. Shout out to them. They are one of the few places that when I put my video out, DNK knives, they still had this knife. And Don Farmer, shout out to Don Farmer if he's still in here from DNK knives. He said that I could give away one of the QSP loaners. He said you can give one away, keep it, or do whatever you want with one of them. I am going to give one away because I want it. And I figured. You want it? I want it. You want. I want this. You want that. And something is telling me to give it away because I want to keep it. That's so weird thought process to have. I know. I want to keep it, but I'm going to give it away. This is the QSP. Oh. QSP. Uh, what the heck is it? I, I don't know. My mind just went blank. Swordfish. Look at that. I I want it, but I don't know. Something said you want it, but you need to DSKFS. So I am DSKFS, and this is mine at this moment, and I'm going to give this away because this was donated to me from Don Farmer at DNK Knives, and I am going to DSKFS this. The QSP Pokey thing. It is the QSP Swordfish, and it is fantastic. And it's black and red. Look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Maybe when you give it away and you realize you miss it, the winner will let you borrow it. Yeah. <laughs> or send you photos of it. The, doing cool things. Yeah, the, you. the owner be like, look, I'm using this cool knife that you want. Because these are unavailable at most places. I don't know. I'm a, I'm I'm guessing DNK knives might still have a couple left. Tropical said that's a bee's blade. I'll gift it back to you. Oh, that would be <laughs> awesome. Zadakim says, if I win it, I'll be using in the garden. I'll be using in the garden. Yeah, this this is sweet. And one of the things I like besides the awesome blade is the fact that it doesn't Apple bounce checks. out. It, it doesn't bounce out. Like, 
a lot of button locks when they when they come down the knife goes doing and bounces back out yeah this one has a very good blade retention mm. so it comes down and stays down so that's a, a lot of button locks are bouncy when you shut them aggressively this one is pretty good the echo is pretty good but still i, I get a little bit of bounce Steve-O said, I'll give you pics of it cutting my apples. There you go. Terrence said, makes pretty sound. Oh, by the way, only enter one time. Okay? Only put the hashtag once. Most of the bees bladers already know that. But if you're just getting in here, uh, just enter once. So, the QSP Swordfish is going to be the giveaway. And look at that. Oh, look at that texture. It's so good. So good. David Jewell said, like a bee's special scales. I know. Tell me about it. Stacy said, brother B, heart. Look at that. It even has, it even has a, a wire clip. I love the wire clip on it. It's good stuff. So in this giveaway, you're going to get a big swag pack. I'm not going to go through the whole swag pack. But there is one thing in particular here that I'm going to show you. <laughs> Whoever wins this, um, it has the most of <laughs> it has all the swag that was in the, the last swag pack for the most part. You know, it's a big old thick thing of stickers. You guys know what they look like, right? Well, this one is a regift from o Mrs. OCD for EDC. Uh, shout out to OCD for EDC and Mrs. OCD for EDC, Justin and Molly. This is ice cream nail polish. <laughs> What do y'all what do y'all think about the random things in your package? Top Dog got a package for me today, and I had random there was a screw from the junk drawer. There were three random matches. Um, some some word uh what were there or what is the can what are the candies? Some uh the car the karma Werthers. Yeah, some yeah. Werthers, uh maybe some chocolate. But yeah, so there you go. You're gonna get some ice cream nails. You can put that, make some Fancy scales with that. Glitter. Steve O said my daughter would love that. There you go. Alicord. Alice said random stuff is awesome. Just in Ohio says I haven't painted the dog's nails in years. <laughs> Your dog would be uh, very colorful. Let me see if I can take this out of the package and show you. All right. Oh, oh look at this. If you don't know, Molly from... Uh, OCD from ED, for EDC, she has a nail polish obsession. She collects nail polish like we collect knives. So that's what it looks like. So how's that for a random extra? I like, I like the idea. It's a way to clean out the junk drawer. Although I clean out the junk drawer, I don't know, three, four times a year and take all the stuff out. I'm going to have to find out where I put that stuff. That stuff makes my tongue feel funny. <laughs> B says. O tip said, I got a junk drawer package from Molly. It really made my whole day going through it all. I used the micro Legos to make a throne for Choo Choo on the gnome. There you go. <laughs> yeah, she she has some of the weirdest random stuff. Are those toes on the lid? Toes on the lid? Um, no, that's an ice cream cone. The lid is an ice cream cone. It's literally like an ice cream cone. Thomas Wheeler says, my toes will look great. Terrence said, daughter loved the glitter in the swag pack. <laughs> Thomas Wheeler's going to do his toes with it. Thomas Wheeler, yes. All right, here we go. We're I think just about everybody has got their vote in or their uh, their draw. For the QSP Swordfish. You're going to love this knife. You're going to like the way you look. Mm, that's good stuff. That's a that's a nice knife. And it will be in the... I'll, I'll put it in its original box and all that good stuff. The and Punisher 2 says, If I win, these can keep the QSP Swordfish. That I'll win, though. Kind of hope the Punisher wins. <laughs> all right, here we go. Time is up to put in your Apple Snacks. Let me take that down and let's see who the lucky winner is. Do, 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 do. Let me put this up on the screen. Who's it gonna be? 
Somebody's going to win. Well, I hope so. Do they have to be present? You must be present to win. If it's uh, if you're out of the United States, I will pay ten, up to $10 of shipping. This is an international uh, giveaway. I will pay up to $10 of the shipping. Um, that's the most part. Um, the person that won earlier, Vicky, sorry, you cannot win twice, but Ken can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the main thing. I'll pay up to $10 shipping. Uh, like last week, uh, the winner of, or last week or the week before, the winner of the big giveaway from Top Dog, all that stuff, lives in Bosnia. And I sent that out, and that shipping was about $32. I paid 10 of it. But 22 bucks for the O-Light and the knife and all that other stuff, that's a good deal. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. We'll wait for it to pop up. Here we go with the Apple Snacks. Who's the winner going to be of the QSP? <laughs> Vicky says I didn't enter this time. The winner is Colby Venable. <laughs> Colby. Ooh, I like the beard. Nice beard, Colby. I did enter Zadokim. Congratulations, Colby. Colby, send me an email with a screenshot of your YouTube login page. That way I know it's you and yours. And also put the name that's on that. If Colby Venable isn't your real name, make sure that that's in your email too. So I can search it and your shipping, your shipping address, your mailing address. And I will get it sent out in the next two to four weeks, probably sooner. But I say that that way people don't get impatient. Congratulations, Colby. Now, the only other thing is, Colby, say hello. Are yeah, you he in did. here? He already did. Oh, okay. I missed it. I was talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to talk and read at the same time unless you're saying what he you're says, reading. He says, thanks, bees. There you go, man. You are set. I don't think I've ever seen my name go by on the Rolodex. Really? Mm -hmm. Rick Adga said, good night. Again, everyone, see you next week. Good night, Mr. And Mrs. Bees. Good night, sir. M Betty Davis popped up. I saw a lot of good names or a lot of normal names come up there. Normal, regular names. <laughs> Can... Colby is Vu in English. <laughs> is Vu not? I'm assuming Vu is not in here um, tonight. He, he popped in and said he was going to something and wasn't going to be able to be in. Ah, uh, that's why you were up and moving around on your <laughs> dump truck because you knew he wasn't going to be in here. Yep, he'll have to watch the replay. Good night, Tyler Williams. He's going to be so disappointed. The Punisher said, well, I tried to win you the Swordfish Bees. I may have jinxed us when I said I doubted I'd win. That's all right, man. I appreciate it. It's the thought that counts. Top Dog said, another amazing live. You people make my week. Hey, Top Dog, Top Dog, Top Diggity Dog. I Hello, start, sir. I, I started doing that, and then I stopped, and I said, we'll wait for Mrs. Bees. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for you. Dwayne K said, Mrs. B's wants a Rolodex. What's a Rolodex? Mrs. B's, what's a, oh, what's a Rolodex? Do you not, do you seriously not know what a Rolodex is? I think he's joking as to how old ah, they are. See, we have these things that work that is. They're in the wall. It's called a Lectriever, but I renamed it the Wallodex. I think it's perfect because it literally holds all of our papers and it goes around in a circle. So wallet X it is. Apple juice, the QSP penguin XL is expensive because of the materials. They I don't know why they haven't come and come out with with uh budget versions yet, but it's the steel and the titanium handles is why the penguin XL is so expensive. Dwayne says, I know what it is. Some may not know. Yeah, I saw Garrett's name go by. Is anyone in here that doesn't know what a Rolodex X is? <laughs> Because bees can Google it real quick for you if you need it. Yeah, a Rolodex is what people used to use. It was alphabetized, and you could write address and, and information, mailing address on stuff, and you could find it quicker back in the olden days. Now you just put it on your phone. The olden days. Betty Davis <laughs> said, I knew I wouldn't win. Apple juice? Apple juice? That's the first time I've seen that username. I enjoy it. All right, Mrs. Bees, you want to come over here and say your thing? Renee says it's a watch, right? A ro <laughs> well, that's the first thing I thought when I when I saw a Rolodex. Like a Rolex? Yeah. Well, that that's what I was thinking. I was like, Mrs. B's wants a Rolex, no. and then I had to read it again. I like my watch. Actually, I have a couple cute ones upstairs. I need new batteries for. Alice said it sounds like a micro. It's a micro fish. 
microfish is what you used to. Uh, I never had to use a microfish. I don't think I would be able to. Yeah, my job, we used to use a microfish. When I first started working, the roll, the Rolodex was on everyone's desk. I'm not kidding you. My coworker who just retired last year had one on his desk and he gifted it to me when he left. And he said, I'm now putting you in charge of this. Huh. <laughs> and it has everybody's phone number. Okay. I'm sleepy. You're sleepy. We all won some stuff. Not well. Yeah, we all won some stuff. Because we were all here. Exactly. Um... I want to tell everyone, now let's talk about the Dewey Decimal System. No, Lord. How about not and say we did? Um, I want to tell everyone to have a safe weekend and have fun. If you do some stuff, do it to it, Mountain Do It. Also, my famous quote of the night, if you have things in your shopping cart, go ahead and purchase it. I said it's Okay. Man, if I purchased everything my Amazon shopping cart, I'd be like $600 in. <laughs> I have a couple cameras. I got some stuff for traveling and a couple pairs of shoes. Some cute sweaters. Definitely, Already. Definitely want to get those sweaters. I'm glad you found the channel too, Apple Juice. Every Friday night, make sure you're here and watch all the videos and comment on them too and, and like yeah. them and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battery power, 15%. Oh, oh, no. Good timing. Perfect timing. All right, y'all. Love you bunches. Have a great weekend. Be safe. See you next Friday. Will I see you yep. next Friday? Yep. Okay. I'll see you next Friday. Yeah. Toodles. Ken Faulkner wants us to bring back phones with the dial. Oh, Lord. And then the zeros. Yeah, my grandma and grandpa <laughs> had one of those on the wall. So thank you, everyone, for being here. I am so glad you all came and hang, hung out with us tonight. You almost said hanged. <laughs> thank, thanks for hanged out with us tonight. <clears throat> and for checking out all the knives and gear and accoutrement and the pouches and, and all the cool stuff. I know you all like all this stuff as my, much as I do. And I'm now an affiliate with Refined Pins. So if you're ever wanting a really cool pin... You can get one of these bad boys. I've already put uh, my own favorite ink. I don't use black ink. I use blue ink completely. I don't like blue ink shows better on paper to me. Has better contrast and I just enjoy it more. And then if you have to copy it, you can know which one the original is. Oh, yeah. That too. You always know the original. Waiting for the nine to come back around too late. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the show. Now I must go find where I left off again, Gareth said. Yeah, and thank you to everyone that donated tonight when you do the Super Chats. It's very much appreciated. Uh, it, it helps a lot. I spend a lot on shipping, and uh, producing the channel is, is it cheap. So I, I really appreciate that. And all of the new channel members, congratulations on your new channel membership, and thank you for being a part. If you go to the membership tab, you can watch previous videos that were only released to channel members. And also, if you go to the community tab, there are some things in there that you can see that others can't, that if they're not channel members. But thank you for hanging out with us every Friday night. It makes it so much fun. We look forward to it. I have so much fun. And it goes by so fast because uh, we usually have more than there is to talk about. I can't go in depth into stuff. I'm, I am. I do want to start doing a little more q and I, like I like it when people ask me questions. I'll give you my opinions of what I've learned so far. You know, from hand, handling hundreds of knives, hopefully can help you make your decision. That's one of the reasons I started my channel is, hey, you know, all these people, that that's how I decided what knives I wanted to buy. So that's what I'm trying to do for you is tell you what I think about it. And He's trying to tell you what to buy. No, <laughs> I, I, I tell people watch, watch about the same knife from different reviewers. That way you'll get my take on them and you'll get other people's takes on them. I might be big on jimping. Someone else might not be big on jimping. You'll get different opinions and help you form an opinion on whether you want to spend your doll hairs. I cannot bring up the plate of apples. That's <laughs> okay. But, oh yeah. And after this video is over, if you go, if you, once you leave, if you come back to the live tab, and leave a video or uh, leave a comment on that. That's even that's another way to support the channel. And another way you support the channel is when you watch the videos, just let them play all the way through instead of skipping through. It helps 
get the get it out there that's how we have new people in the knife community all the time so my phone's about to die y'all have a good night i love you remember live life in the present keep a band-aid handy and don't cut yourself